Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 30th of November 2023, and somehow, someway, we're still playing Classic World of Warcraft, the second seasonal server that Blizzard are going to release. And this one, I'm going to be honest, I'm a lot more hyped for than Season of Mastery. This is it, Season of Discovery, something that we've been waiting for for, I don't know, almost feels like the classic plus beta in a way. Let's flip this over though. This is a very professional stream, I'll have you know. Oh. There he is. Ladies, how's everything though? How, are, how is everyone doing in the chat? I hope everything looks okay and sounds okay on the stream. Uh, if I'm honest, I haven't really streamed for, uh, you know, two years. So if, uh, if you can tell me everything looks and sounds okay, I'll be really happy. Um, but yeah, there's just so much to get through before launch. It's so exciting. Uh, before we go on, a whole gamer. I'm sure that's how it's meant to be said. Not the other way around, right? Uh, yo, I appreciate the five, man. That's so, so kind. I haven't even got started and you've done that. And Lee Barrow as well. Thank you. I, I try my best. I try and get everything sort of, you know, working and making sense for you guys so uh I'm, I'm glad you know i uh i hope i can continue to do that pop back down here sounds great perfect that's beard i hope there's no frame drops or anything so well i moved fairly recently and i have a british internet which is uh, so bad it's so unbelievably bad uh but you know we do what we can we do what we can uh, what server am I playing on? So, I am, I, I've been thinking about this. I've been, I've been kind of torn, right? Right up to the way where we're having this server release. And for me, there's two main options, which would be RP, PvP. And I know there's already a bunch of guys going on the Horde side there, uh, such as Kungan uh, and Guzu that I've seen so far. And it would be nice to play with those guys, but um, I don't know if I'm going to do that initially. Because my roots in Classic, what I started off with was, of course, the uh, Bald Gnome. And I feel as though I have to start off with a Bald Gnome. At the same time, I kind of want to do PvE first. And there's a few reasons for that as well. All rumors RP PvP is a streamer server, yeah. Uh, now, I, I mean, I played PvP in 2019. And um, there are fun parts to it, don't get me wrong, but especially when you're streaming, you're just kind of two people away from the stream being derailed and them deciding what you do and you don't get to do. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so that can make things quite difficult. Whereas I, um, I'm quite interested on the PvE side of things this season, uh, experimenting with the new rune combinations. The raid content probably isn't going to be very hard, let's be real. Um, but just seeing how things play out on that side of things. And so I'm probably going to be going with the PvE server, at least initially. I've been banned by the looks of it. Let me just... Oh, login servers. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're, we're starting off. Oh, so Gullius for the five. Great content. Thank you with your lock. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that so much. And, uh, okay, now it begins. Now it begins, I guess. 17 minutes left until launch. Wherever you are in the world, it'll be 17 minutes. So, uh, so oh, the, the queue's climbing already. The queue is climbing. But, uh, yeah, initially the PvE server, I think, will be the play for me. Um, but I, I do want to play on the PvP server too, because the especially the Battle for Ashen Vale on... PvE servers, is that, are you going to auto flag during the battle? How's that going to work? I, I don't really know. And I do want to PvP during the season, I just want a bit of agency over when I do PvP, if you know what I mean. Uh, especially if I'm streaming as well, like, I mean, come on, we all, know how, we all know how PvP is in Classic WoW, right? The queue, and the queue begins. It's 15 minutes and the queue begins. Do I just keep pressing Q or do we watch something until the server's up?
emergency main is. Please don't tell me that. Please tell me that's cap. Oh no. Wait, it's actually not. We'll be performing emergency maintenance and the game will be unavailable during this time. <laughs> I just want to play the game! No! No, Blizz! I even showered for this. Can you believe it? That is unfortunate. Oh, well, keep pressing the button. <sighs> yeah, uh, it's a bit unlucky. It said 9 p.m. It did say 9 p.m. That's in 15 minutes, to be fair. Maybe, okay, maybe it's really fast emergency maintenance, okay? They're going to be done in like 5 to 10 minutes, so we're all going to be on for log on time, okay? Don't worry, guys. Okay, the queue's gone up. Can everyone else apart from me stop queuing, please? Are these on the classic realms? Yeah, if you go down to... um. Yeah, just World of Warcraft Classic on the Balanet launcher you'll get here. Uh, for the people asking though, I am indeed planning to play the Warlock during this season, at least initially. I I'm, I'm liking Warlock, I'm liking Hunter, and I'm liking Paladin at the moment. But the level cap's 25. So it's going to be so easy to get to level cap. And then I'm probably going to be going to play on different servers as well. Paladin first. I think Paladin looks really good. As for the moment, I guess we're all playing the uh, refresh the server game, huh? Anyway, what, what are you guys playing? Put it in the chat. What what's your first main? What are you rolling what are you rolling straight away? Got a mage? Got a nut hunter? Balance druid? I like that. Warlock priest. Okay. That's quite a quite a bit of variety here. Shaman. Ooh, got two shamans. Your dust cam, I'm playing Warlock first, for sure. Oh, dust cam. Thank you for the prime as well, man. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Melee Hunter. Melee BM Hunter. Is anyone specifically going for the uh, new specs? Like, you're not trying to play something you already know how it's going to be. Because me, I want to play a Warlock, but I'm kind of leaning towards more damage, you know? I'm retrieving Realmless. Let me just try pressing this again. Okay, yeah, I'm back in queue. Lock tank, lock tank, melee hunter, healing mage. Yo, uh, uh, <laughs> where are the, uh, where are the road druids at? Not road druid. I say road druid, road tank. Zathy, thank you for the primer. Thank you. Welcome. Troll mage. Ooh. Troll mage. It's funny, isn't it? Troll is like, you rarely see it in vanilla. And then you get to Wrath and everyone's a troll, aren't they? You see servers? Oh, for real? You're in? Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on, Blizzard. I made videos about your game for so long. Please let me in. One time. One time. Oh, they're offline. Okay. As, as long as I get through the queue and I can see the servers, I'll be happy. Oh, Adam Orr, thank you so much for joining. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate that so much. There are seven servers. Okay. Do I cancel and press reconnect here? Uh, yes, this I, I am on EU, yes. Do they still have the troll names like streamer realm for the realm, realms and that we have 11 minutes 11 minutes i guess they're spinning the servers up but they're not quite ready yet it's 
stay in? Okay. Uh, okay, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Ooh, it's so exciting. It's, it's just never been anything like this before. The classic. Because the, the whole way through classic so far, we've kind of known everything that's going to happen. We've like had this blueprint. Like this, There's people like me, frankly, who have been able to go back through years of content and try and put together videos, but this is it's just something new, man. Oh! Okay. Oh, okay, those are our names. So, Crusader Strike, RP, PvP. Lava Lash, RP. Living Flame, PvP. Lone Wolf, PvP. Wild Growth, man. I don't want to play Wild Growth, man. Got a server called Wild Growth. That is, uh, that is not my first choice. Yo, Lee, Lee Barrow, thanks for joining as well. It's super generous of you, man. I appreciate that a lot. Hidden Leaf, did somebody from a CAA send you by chance? Okay, I'm just going to assume you're from them. So I'm going to be a growther initially. I want to play on Crusader Strike. It just sounds cooler than Wild Growth, man. Oh wait, we haven't we have an RP PvP and an RP. Ooh. Do I just roll on the RP then? You haven't got your name shown, NA. Kinda wanna roll on Crusader Strike. It just sounds better. I I'm not sure which servers are east and west. Uh, I'm I'm an EU boy. Uh, you know we don't have those problems, fortunately, one way or the other. I think I'm going to stick to my guns and and say what I was going to do, uh, which my first character initially will be on PVE. But I absolutely do want to branch out after that. Because my first character is going to be the one I play the most. But yeah, I, I, I want to feel it out, right? So I want to see where other people end up rolling. Because it would be cool to, you know, play with some other streamers, some other people that I know. And I already know a bunch of people are going to roll different factions on different servers. So I think I just do the thing that I want to do initially. And then we, uh, we do it. We see where it goes from there. It's been alright so far, say. So. Hope you got the Lich King. It, it would also take me a bit to figure out how to do that, but uh, yeah. Fingers crossed, we're okay so far. So I guess we have seven minutes, right? I think I'm going to be a wild grofer. At the start. And uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. 15 year old. 19 year old I have you know. 15 year old game man. But yeah two PvP servers. I wasn't expecting them to do an RP server to be honest. Like just a pure RP server. What's the difference between uh, RP PvP and normal? Um, so RP PvP is essentially just a PvP server. Uh, so anywhere you're in a contested zone, you will be automatically flagged. But uh, you're also meant to pretend to be a guard when you're in a major capital city. I think that's what it means. Uh, I, guess, I guess we're just in the waiting now. Does anyone remember with previous releases? They just they just said online, right? You didn't have to log in and out, did you? Need to refresh. I seem to remember another release. They just came online. Oh, there's Russian servers. Penance and Shadow Strike. There you go. When you go to RP? Um... I guess 
don't know if I have a weird opinion about RP, but it's like, I always, I, I always think of RP servers kind of like, they're like wildlife sanctuaries, you know? They're kind of, they're kind of sacred, right? You, you don't go around messing them up, trying to bring vibes that they're not really designed around. I think people that play RP should kind of have their own space to do that, even if they're not all RPers, you know? So unless I was fully dedicated to RP, I'd primarily just go to a normal server. So I'm going to be a wild grofer. And why does it have to be a druidability? Hello, Dasher. Coffee enjoys? One right here. RP servers, people are nicer. That's the thing. I mean, I've seen a lot, a lot with the um, big streamers that they are planning to go on RP PvP servers. Um, and I think they're doing that because the NA server, Grobulus, was so successful historically. And I, I feel if loads of streamers pile in, they're not going to get that same experience that they're really chasing. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Yo, Ian, I appreciate that for the two. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, will the servers go live when you're online? <laughs> yeah, specifically me. Blizzard are waiting for me. They'll just get, get my intro out of the way. Uh, but no. When um, I think they will just move to online. Does anyone else know? Is anyone watching any of the streams? Are they refreshing or what are they doing? How do you download this? You should, you should already have it downloaded, Jim. If you just uh, log in on World of Warcraft Classic, that should do it for you. Uh, you don't have to do anything else and then just come to the seasonal server bit and you should be good. Three minutes though. I'm refreshing. I don't want to log out because I think I'll get put into a huge queue. Yeah, do not refresh seven minute queue. That's what I'm afraid of, man. What I'm afraid of. Uh, Kyle, this is a you. Uh, I, I don't even know what the NA names are yet. Also, if you're in Russia, there's a, you know, you've got Penance and uh, Shadow Strike. They're both cooler than Wild Bro. Yeah. Into Classic Aaron and change servers. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> nope. Good idea, though. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll try that again in uh, one and a half minutes. One and a half minutes until Season of Discovery. Logging into game server. Yeah, just just keep at it. These servers are going to be so busy tonight. Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard. There's an RP server. There's two RP servers on a U. I guess there's two on NA. What am I rolling? I guess you'll find out when I'm in online in one minute. Speak a little of Wild Grove. You know, I agree. I I actually played a druid for a lot of World of Warcraft. I've raided on druid for so many years. And it is one of those buttons you just press. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Please just come online. Please. Server will I be on? I'll be on Wild Growth. At the start. 
As I say, like, yeah, the level cap's 25. It's going to be so fast to get to 25. Okay, it is It is 9 p.m., which is release time my time, in uh, five seconds. Two, one, and... Um, uh, what the servers aren't on. Um, Blizz? Yeah, what? Blizzard? Keep the time, please. <laughs> Emergency maintenance. Oh, no. I'm going to try. This didn't break my game last time, so it'll be fine again. ETA nine minutes. Where's that from? Was that Twitter? Let me have a look on the old X. Which sounds kind of wrong. Yeah, maybe I spent a lot of time looking at X. Okay. Change realm. Seasonal? Offline. It's up. I'm not on yet. Let me in. Yeah, one minute late, Blizzard. One minute. Ah, oh, truly a multi-dollar company. Cancel and rejoin 1.6 KQ. Oof. Yeah, I think if you just a log Well, I, I guess it's kind of crying over spilt milk now, but you're logging a different server, then go back and it should be alright not up. I can't, I can't believe my chat would lie to me. I absolutely cannot believe that. When's the server's out? The server was out uh, two minutes ago. But uh, not for me. Uh, let me have a look here, see if there's any updates. World of Warcraft. I guess it's just the new server experience and uh, you, you just sit here and wait a few extra minutes. Yeah, nothing up. Yeah, we, we're just waiting a little bit extra, huh? I guess we're, uh, we're we're discovering how to log into the game together. I, I guess this is intended as part of the season. Not quite the discovery I had in mind, but we'll go with it. Server names updated. Oh, is that for an A then? Is this a rune? This is a rune. This is the uh, server login rune. The first one we need to figure out how to be it. Be honest, this is going to happen. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the last few releases have been pretty good. Even TBC, I got in pretty fast. Wrath, I got in pretty fast. Hardcore, got in pretty fast. It has only been three minutes, though. To be fair. Should I try swapping around again? They did update with you without me to log in. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I, I guess they're just fixing a few last minute things then. Hardcore servers marked as full. Wait, they actually are too. Yo, guys, if anyone wants to play hardcore, uh, I'm sorry, there's going to be a queue. Okay, tr please try playing another server at the moment. Relog, there's no way I'm relogging right now. You are mad. Oh, 
global launch at 3.15? Yeah, apparently. Nope, oh, they're offline too. I guess they're uh, they're all booting them up at the same time or something. The ser oh, they're the same name as the NA servers. Okay, I didn't expect that. I thought they'd be different. They usually are different. Not working. Okay, a bit a bit of patience. Is anyone is anyone watching anyone else? Is anyone online yet? Like, is a single person online? Nobody is. I mean, that's okay then. Like if, if no one's online, that's all right. I'm okay with that. <laughs> if the, if no one's got a problem, then that's good. Few minutes left. I'm hoping they'll just update. You know. I think they will. So will it just refresh? I mean, people have already said the NA server names refreshed without them having to do anything. So I am very much hoping there will be the same case with the servers coming online. Emergency on the launcher. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that might be something different. We shall see. Yeah, well, this is loading. I'm going to go grab some water real quick. I'll be right back one sec. Right, that was actually my secret tactic to get Blizzard to put the servers online. I thought if I went away for 30 seconds, they would put them up as soon as I left. But it, it didn't work. They're up. They ain't up for me. Go on, Blizzard. Eight minutes! Eight minutes! Can you believe it? Refresh, they added two more. I really don't want to refresh. Dead, I'll be going for Wild Growth, first of all. Wild Growth will be my first server. There might be exclamation mark server in the chat. I don't know if that'll work. How do you RP and PvP servers? Where you walk up to someone, you say, Hello, can I please shoot you with a bow? And then they'll either disagree or agree. And you can go from there. Refresh didn't work. Yeah, I would not recommend refreshing, if I'm honest. There's a 10 minute queue. A 10 minute queue isn't too bad, really, considering. Is NA? Oh no, this is all a U, uh, Dad. This is all a U. I don't know what they're called, NA. Apparently they have the same names, but uh, yeah. Better audio here. I'm kind of surprised to hear that, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> That's a good thing, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> they have the same names? Yeah, usually they're always different, right? Which makes sense, because if somebody says, 
white mane, I know they're talking about a, uh, an A. If they say fire more, I know it's a U. Yeah, I feel like this should have been different. Uh, I, uh, Antipathy, thank you. Uh, you can start loading me onto my classic era server page and then log into there to refresh. I tried that by logging into uh, just one of these servers for error and then logging back on seasonal. It didn't change anything. I think when people start hitting the server logins, everyone will get that together. It's okay. Oh! And we're in! Uh, RPers, sorry. No servers for you, I guess. <laughs> let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Come on. Uh, no mail. Warlock. Beedron, facial hair. Face. <laughs> We're in, boys. Let's go. The uh, intro, yep, 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 yep. Oh, my God. What is this, man? I turned all the add ons off. Holy crap. Hang on. Yo, we're going to have to multitask it. And I swear, I, I sorted out my albums before this. Come on, come on, come on. Right, let's go. Where's Questy? Oh. oh my god, there's so many people already. There's so many people. Okay, wolf meat, wolf meat, wolf meat. I think if we go over here, there's a few more wolves, right? Wait, why do I have death log on? Okay, the first of many. In 2019 Classic, my first Shadow Bolt was a crit. In 2020... Two server launch Shadowbolt crits in a row. What does this mean? There it is. There it is. Easy as that. Still logging in. I think I might have got some good RNG on that. Oh, I'm looting. I'm looting. I'm looting. Taking a while. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Beat the mage! Beat the mage! Yeah. The, the servers are chugging right now. Oh, that's new. That is new. Okay. First new item. Uh, Wolf Jawbone. Using a summoning ritual. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, this is, uh, the servers are suffering a bit right now. It's an A. This is on EU. More stuff in the bags, yeah. Yo, Blizz, uh, if you're listening... Blue leather bag. A small blue leather satchel, please. Um, or red. I'll also accept red. Okay. Next one. I'll get it on the next one. I'll have this looted any moment now. All the EU servers are faulty. Yeah, man. This is going to be... Uh, there's going to be a lot of people on for sure. more wolves here. How far across the wolves go? I'm looking at the wrong bit. Right, let's try and hang over here. I remember in 2019, you just kind of, instead of trying to run around and get wolves, you just pick somewhere where they spawn and wait there. 
and eventually Blizzard will de deliver. Ah, uh, so let's find somewhere as a wall. Wait, how somebody already died? Lemon! Lemon, what are you doing, man? Like, the server's been out for a few minutes and you're dead. Let's try waiting on this wall. Can't connect. I just keep trying, guys. Honestly, the servers are going to be so full. Uh, yeah, this is this is like the WoW launch experience all over again. Go 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 go! Did I get it? Nope. Yeah, people have started moving over to the side now. It's a ball, that's no good. Two wolves over here. I might get this one if I'm lucky. Now someone else has hit it. Yeah, so we're just going to have to wait here and collect our wolves as they come up. Thank you. Yeah, I hear there's some uh, pretty big queues. I mean, you can't really group for these quests. I'll do. Four minutes. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, these collection quests, you uh, you just have to do them solo. It is what it is kind of thing. Yeah, I might even be able to loot this before the next one comes out. 2,600 Q on Wild Growth and A. Ugh. We're trying for the next one. Only three more wolves! This is the bit where it's, uh, you, you want to get ahead of the pack kind of thing. This is pretty, it is pretty unplayable to be fair. There we go. Two more, two more. Training that dagger skill. Loot it, loot it. There we go. Two more. Two more and then surely we will be ahead of the pack, right? Okay, that one respawned a bit faster. 3k, yeah, everyone, I think everyone's having pretty big queue problems at the moment, but uh, this, this server was, I, I think Season of Discovery was always going to be pretty huge uh, player-wise. Ooh, this one's kind of hyper spawning right now. Just get this killed. Get this killed real quick. We get the next one. There we go. Alright, quest number one is done. Yeah, the I mean, the past few server releases they've done have been pretty good. Oh, there's level two as well. Loot that. Um... Let's head on over and hand in. Yeah, I haven't actually done these starting zone quests in a little bit, to be honest. Great to meet you.
not gonna lie, the, the past few times I've done leveling, I've done it with rested XP. This time I figured I'd turn it off and just kind of figure it out as I go, but yeah, it's, it's probably not gonna be as efficient. Or the lone wolf. Is that what you're all rolling? You see, guys, this right here is why you go further over there, okay? You don't want to be on six people on the tag. Or, like, look at this, man. There's, like, a whole raid on one wolf, okay? Just go more that way, okay? Go more that way. If you're in the, if you're in the uh, gnome starter zone. Rest XP. Yeah, I know, but it's just so convenient, isn't it? See you soon. How are you? The stream gets a login without a queue, and I love it. Right, so we got this wolf jawbone, a reagent used for summoning in a ritual. So at level 2 on the warlock, I think you can pick up the quest, um, get an imp, right? Uh, so I, I want to go and head over there and pick that up first, because it's in the frost wolf cave down here. Uh, so we're going to see how that plays out. Login servers figured out you're in a uh, queue of 5,750. That's not what you want. To be honest, I should probably be taking my clothes off in-game and uh, selling them so I can buy upgrades. Salutations. We'll see what Mr. Alamar has for me here, though. And this in. You have a great day now. Beginnings. In stolen power. Off Take it away. Uh, stolen power. Learn the spell engraving. Haunt. Oh. I've been experimenting with a new type of magic, a rune that can channel fell energy into fuel powerful spells. Frogs. There's a camp of those uh, rock jaw vermin to the southwest. See if you can find a rune stashed among their possessions. Okay, so we're getting haunt as our first rune. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely happy about haunt. I think haunt is one of the best runes for Aladdin that we could have gotten. Uh, let's just turn the. Those on. Yeah, ha haunts a good rune for sure. And then this uh, this one will get me my imp. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go head over here and get both of these. Actually, should we do this quest first? Oh, do I have the one with the mug? Deliver the stack of letters. Yeah, I actually haven't done this in a bit, so. Let's uh, head over here and do this one. Plum on streaming season to discover consistently. Yeah, I mean, as much as I can, to be honest, it's um, it's kind of a bit of a different way of looking at things because usually in Classic, we kind of know everything in advance and there's not a ton to be discovered, as it were. So this changes things up a pretty huge amount. So... Hey, as long as I'm having fun, there's stuff to do. Yeah, I'll keep on playing this server. And it's pretty packed now, but I imagine in a few days it'll be alright. Let's just try and do something that other people aren't doing right now. Fifty paladins, all right. How are you? Be good. Safe. And that one in. I kind of want to find this new rune. Is they said it'd be among the trolls' items. But really, we need to do this trog and boar uh, quest first. Don't know how many layers there is. There must be layers, though, right? There's so many people. Thirty minutes to get into the RP PvP server. I mean, back in my day, the classics release in uh, 2019. Anyone remember what the queues were like back then? Any of you guys play uh, on classics 2019 release? Oh yeah, we can join this actually. Good idea. Who cares about leveling fast? Yeah, I, I guess it's just about staying ahead of the pack, right? You don't always want to be fighting with, like, ten people over a mob. 
Is this guy? He's offline? Huh? I remember in 2019, I got kicked. I managed to get on, and I played pretty late into the night, and I got kicked off. And the queue time was, uh, I think it was six or seven hours. And I just went to bed. And I was like, okay, well. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm not playing the game anymore. Yeah, this is kind of the way to go, though. Just find somewhere and farm out the trogs. No, I'm not, I'm not sure where this person is. I'm going to just leave. Carry on farming my trog. I'll be level three soon. Yeah, the, the server literally says go to sleep. Oh, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, well, the server's just. All right, I think that's a message, guys. So that's going to be the end of the stream. Uh, you know, we had a good run. Uh, what can you do? Uh oh. I mean, it's half nine my time, right? It's, uh, that's bedtime. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Positioning queue, 5,166. Estimated time, two minutes, four minutes. Can we get a six minutes? Any six minutes? Okay, 12. Uh, you can start. Okay, 34. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guys, I know what to tell you. This, this isn't a good look. This isn't good. Um, <laughs> um, uh, oh boy, streaming World of Warcraft releases, you just, you just love it. And the thing is, the thing is, I guarantee you, the PvE server is one of the less popular servers. <sighs> you know, Blizzard said, oh, oh you know, if, uh, if, if there's a queue, you know, you're going to have to deal with it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I picked the least populated server. And we are stuck. Anyone else get kicked off right then? Any, uh, anyone else who thought they had streamer benefits? It turns out they don't. Guys, it's only 36 minutes though. Yo, what's the other stuff uh, streamers do? Reacting? I guess we go reactor mode. And I didn't even get my rune yet. You hate to see it. I guess you guys are all in queue as well, huh? They need to have more servers. Let's see if they've announced anything. I kind of doubt they will, to be honest. Um, unfortunate as it is. I think they're just going to leave stuff like this and say, uh, yeah, it'll figure itself out. Which level do I get the rune? I got it at level two uh, from the, from, at least from the gnome questing start or the dwarf one, the one where you get the imp quest inside the, uh, the kind of in area towards the start. Typical Blizzard launch. I mean, you're not wrong. But like, I was hoping it'd be better, you know? Because the past few server releases have been good. And imagine they do have more servers and then those servers are kind of dead and they have to let people transfer. It's like they can't win, do you know what I mean? How was it for the first two levels? Laggy. Very laggy. <laughs> yeah, the servers are not the best. Two servers? I mean, yeah, if you play on PvP, there's... I mean, there's RP PvP, so there's three servers. Uh, does NA have five total as well? What server? Right here? Why grow? Living Flame. Living Flame is a 50k Q. Is that real? 5 and 9 eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes... That about makes sense.
Let's see. Uh, nip on Twitch real quick. Wait. How come Asmongold's still online? What the hell, man? Is he getting special priority? What is this blizzard? Living Flames re uh, refusing new players. Are you trying to roll Horde or Alliance? That might be the faction queue thicking, uh, thicking? kicking in already. <laughs> kicking all the bearded folk. Well, I guess time go. I'm I'm looking on Twitch. Literally, everyone is uh. Login screen, uh, login screen, login screen, login screen, login screen. Wait, Guzzi's on. Damn. How did he hack his way in? Not fair. Clearly, wild growth is wild growth is where it's really meant to be at. But uh, you know, we just got unlucky. It's unplayable. Are many of you guys online? Like, are you online and it's just crazy laggy and kind of unplayable? <laughs> you just joined and you discovered the login screen. Yeah, yeah, you're going to discover something this season that's uh, not what you expected. Unplayable on Living Flame. Hmm. It's hardcore. Uh, no, so there's no hardcore mode on the seasonal servers. At the moment, they may do it on the future. Uh, I haven't heard whether they will do or not. But at the moment, no. We don't know about that. My queue's gone up, man. What is this? This really is the... Uh, World of Warcraft experience. Uh, so guys, you know, I can just save you a bit of content here. So let's say I was playing the game right now. This is what it would look like. Okay, so, uh, you know, you don't need to worry about me playing the game. Imagine I have a sword instead of I'm a gnome and I'm shooting a shadow ball. Oh, there's one hit. There's one hit. Wait for another. Wait for another. Wait for it. It'll be coming soon. There you go. There's the, oh, they all did it together that time. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think in other words, the servers aren't working too well right about now. I mean, <laughs> he got in, but uh, did he? <laughs> did he though? Because looking at this right now, it's not looking too good. He's on the RP realm. I'm kind of surprised the big streamers have gone with the RP realm, to be honest. The, I mean, the RP PvP. Yeah, he's playing with, uh, he's playing with, actually playing with a, it's Season of Discovery Change, one-handed swords, and I'll have a 20-second swing timer, and do 20 times more damage, yeah, you just haven't heard about it yet. It is rough, though. I think everyone's getting this experience, pretty much. Who else have we got? If there's one thing I've seen from streamers, it's, uh... Can't go wrong with some React content. Who else got... Wait, Mad Season's online! Hello? He's... He's too... He's not even lagging! Huh? Okay, wait, never mind, it's crashed. Is he dead? Oh... Ooh... Now nah, he's alive. He's a higher level than me too, man. He's just better at everything. Not fair. Streamer priority. Where's my streamer priority, though? Yeah, I think I, uh... I think I might just got a bit unlucky. With what I picked, to be honest. A bit of, uh, a bit of bad RNG, as they say.
the alliance restricted. I don't know. I've heard there might be some realms which are already getting kind of restricted. But I'm not sure. What I'm looking at now is a uh, big old login screen. Because apparently I, I logged in too early. I logged in too early and I'm, I'm now suffering for my sins. Wow, Gross Alliance restricted? That's not possible. There should only be faction restrictions on PvP servers. But it is a bit annoying, not gonna lie. I just wanna play the game and find out the new stuff, man. They aren't even taking any more login requests. I've seen that before, actually. Heroes get Fury of Storm Age as their first rune. That's a good first rune. Yeah, because you're going to be playing um, Balance until level 10 at least, aren't you? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a good first rune. Ah, oh, this is, uh, it's going down though, slowly but surely. We can only hope the 46 minutes is not 46 minutes. Okay, it's moving a bit. It is moving a bit, slowly but surely. Level three, Rance. I can only imagine what it's like to be such a high level. Imagine I log back in and they've like reset my character. I don't have my name anymore. I don't have the gnome. I just log in and uh, there's nothing. That's it. It's over. How about that? Think you can play on launch day? Yeah, it's uh, it's my bad, huh? <laughs> it is my bad. I knew this was going to be a crazy launch. It's gone up again. Alliance locked on the PvE server? No, there, there can't be locks on PvE servers. The faction queues are only for PvP. If you roll a PvE server, you're good. You don't have to worry about that. That's kind of part of the reason I've rolled one. The PvE server's faction locked? Huh? You can confirm? What? Uh... Uh, that's not how it's supposed to work. You had to make a horde warlock? Ooh. I think I'd go undead. Undead's just so iconic with how they look. Yeah. I actually have an undead warlock at level 60. Both were locked. Sounds like a blizzard problem, <laughs> to be honest. Oh man, they're going to have to end up making more servers, aren't they? Do you think they're just going to weather this day one? Because like everyone's in it. Is everyone in the queue right now? Like how many are playing? How many people are playing and you're like, it's fine. You can't feel any lag. There's, it's just the game as normal. Or is every server just lagging like crazy or you're sitting here thinking, uh, you know, I want to play the game. Playing fine. It's perfect. You're playing on perfect servers, man. Wait, say you're fine. You're on wild growth, say. The hell are you in the human starting zone, I guess? Unbelievable. Yeah, you are. Okay. So it's not... It's something to do with... Oh, you're a dwarf. What? Right, I just got unlucky then, huh? Well, bad luck me, I guess. 
It is going down, though. Slowly. Very slowly. Female dwarf priest. What the hell? That's several misclicks in a row. There's the only way to put that. Rick has been stream. Uh, I think he's currently doing a bit of cardio. He's uh, making his way up to Stormwind by the looks of things. Um, maybe he's going to pick up the quest for you deliver some stuff in Stormwind perhaps. You know, see what's going on there. I'm watching, but uh, <laughs> I'm also waiting. I mean, my estimated time is going up and my position is going down. So is that a good thing? Slows down as you get closer. That is not what I wanted to hear. But we'll, uh, we'll keep going. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll try and get back in. We're trying to, you know, figure out something to do, talk about the servers. There were a few interviews that were released, actually. I, I don't know if I want to just talk about stuff or actually watch them. Ooh. Season of Discovery. Most viewed category on Twitch, though. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. Are the server, uh, server shared? They shouldn't be, no. I, I, I don't know why they've given them the same names. That's really strange. Usually they would never do that. Um, but for some reason this time they have. I don't know. I'm sure it will be back up soon, though, guys. <laughs> Drop the alert if they make new servers. Yeah. I mean, I think they're just going to stick them out day one and hope that people kind of filter into servers, but this is... Uh... It's going down. It's just real slow. Yeah, I, I know how much I can do. But we'll, 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 we'll carry on. We'll carry on. We'll see what we can get to. Blizzard underestimated this. Yeah, I think they did a bit, to be honest. Because I, I fully expected this to be way bigger than hardcore servers were. Like... A lot bigger. This is kind of the evidence. Uh, it's just frustrating for everyone, isn't it? Unless you're in game, of course, and watching me and thinking, ha ha. The streamer never gets in. Unlucky. How much? How many? How many? How many? How many? Try again. Oh, ten k. So bad. Okay, yeah. So we're, we're at least we're, we're not bad. We're not that bad. <laughs> uh, you just gotta laugh at it. What can you do? What can you do? <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Blizzard tweeted. They really weren't expecting that many players. I like, I don't know. I feel like this was so obviously going to be really popular. Um, five servers is, it's not many. Do you guys remember how many servers they first announced for Classic WoW in 2019? Anyone remember that?
Thank you, though. See if I can find it. Wasn't it two or three? I think it was like two or three. Like, genuinely, 2019 Classic had about five or six servers per region. I can only find updated ones. Yeah, they did, they did like a handful of them, then they're like, hang on. Why do millions of people want to play this? We're going to have to release more servers. Yeah, they added so many, so many more. And then a bunch of them died. Five hours on Pyward, Sean? Yeah, I was on, I was on Gehennis on launch. how servers are at the moment there's nothing on here yet for um season of discovery i guess there's classic error 22k that's not bad wrath 400k and these are all the servers they closed this is how many servers have died in classic wow by the way yeah big number huh and there were some really active servers in here too. Flame Lash Phase 2, never forget. Never forget. If you were there, you were there. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, bunch of servers didn't quite make it. And Forging too reliable? No. I mean, you're right, it's not. But uh, what else do we have? It's just basing off the raiding population. What are we saying here? We've gone down from like, what, 4k to 3.5? That's not bad. We'll, we'll stick it out. We'll, we'll see where this goes. Hello, Master Sheep. Yeah, it feels like that the position go down, an estimated time go up, which is not the thing you would hope would happen. Don't understand how the queue works. You know what? I'm not under I'm not sure if Blizzard understand how the queues work. I, I think there's just a number on my screen. And it's showing me an estimated time, but I don't really know whether that correlates to any meaningful number other than you can't log in right now. A lot of people will never log off. Just like 2019. Exactly the same. Remember people log in and then just auto run their characters into a wall somewhere? And be like, yeah, I'm just, just staying logged in. You know, I'm fine. I'm in. I'm in. I've got mine. As long as I'm in. That's all that matters. I'm currently planning to play it. Well, I am playing a Warlock. I'm just not actively playing it. I'm all thinking about playing it in the future. Uh, possibly in about 58 minutes. Maybe sooner than that, you know? We, we don't know. Yeah, there, there will be Warlock gameplay eventually. Uh, <laughs> it, might, it might not be any time soon, but there will be. It is, uh, it's pretty difficult to play right about now, though. Did many of you guys see the video they did? 
Yo, I'm, uh, I I'm gonna do that streamer thing. I've noticed what streamers do is when they need something to do, they open a video. The problem is, I usually make the videos, so I can't really react to my own videos. It's a bit of a problem. Uh, you know, I didn't really think about this before turning my stream on. But, um, you know, throw on a video. Yeah, how, how, do, how do I react to the video when I make the video? I don't know how many of you guys have seen this, but uh, check this out real quick, if you fancy. Where's my chat gone? We're gonna watch a video chat. Pause the video, give the opinion. I like your style, Jabba. I, you know, I need to take tips from you. You, need, you seem to know what you're doing here. Well, let me pause the in-game music. So this is intro to season of discovery. It's a bit of a, a talk between the, I guess, the Blizzard devs for the stuff they're planning for the season, and what actually happened. Um, and the, we're still sitting in a pretty beefy queue right now, so let's fire this up, shall we? See what's up. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess some other people have seen this, but you know what? Tell me if the sounds all right. The world of Warcraft WoWcast. Hello, welcome to WoWcast. Today we're going to talk about WoW Classic Season of Discovery, and I have two special guests with me today. I'm Nora Valletta. I'm a lead software engineer on WoW Classic. I'm Josh Greenfield, and I'm a senior game producer on WoW. Okay, pause number one. Uh, you know, I need to get a lot of value out of this video, okay? So feel free to count. Uh, by the way, I think the, the Classic WoW devs in general have been doing an absolutely amazing job, like the, especially the past few weeks since BlizzCon. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but for the NA realms, they were they were like putting streamer server on the realm names and stuff. It's just it's just great meme value, and I really like what they've been doing recently. Um, so yeah, I, I I don't know whether it's the change in culture at Blizzard with Microsoft taking over. Uh, what is it? What it is? But yeah, it's just been good recently. Classic. So, what is Season of Discovery? Season of Discovery is a uh, interesting new twist on WoW Classic that sort of revisits and recaptures the exploration aspect of World of Warcraft and really encourages players to get in tune with Azeroth and really pay attention to their surroundings and pick up on things. That this could be me if I was in the game right now. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not, but I can watch them do it on the server that is working, you know, so it's uh, that's something that might be different, things that might be new to them and experience that with other cheering about people that are dead. Other players. Yeah, to add to that too, Season of Discovery, due to the kind of seasonal nature of it, it's a really great opportunity for us to take kind of wow. a lot of risks and wild chances on things. And so also to kind of ask what if questions, like what if you could heal as a mage? Or what if you could tank as a rogue or a warlock? And these are all super Thank interesting twists on the class fantasy uh, that we've sort of know and love about original World of Warcraft and gives you a new way to approach, a new lens through which to view the original World of Warcraft world. How does a new character experience Season of Discovery? Is it different than WoW Classic? It'll be much the it's same as right? original World of Warcraft when you first create your character. You know, you'll kind of load into the game world at, say, Northshire Abbey if you're and a human. Like you'll out, go kill wolves, kill a few kobolds. But when you hit level two, pretty much right away, you're going to get your first quest to discover your first rune ability. I and sense. that's the first taste of the discoveries in Season of Discovery. So you complete that quest, you get your first rune ability, and these pretty are usually really rune. impactful rune abilities. But after that, the game doesn't really tell you what to do. It just kind of says, go find more. And that's really what Season of Discovery is all about, is going out and rediscovering the original World of Warcraft world. Can you explain more about what runes are? Runes are essentially abilities that players Runes can find destroy. through various means uh, out in the open world. There are 12 per class in the 1 to 25 leveling bracket, and there will be additional runes in later leveling brackets. Players will essentially, like Josh said, venture out into the world. They will uh, work towards discovering these runes. Uh, and some of them are a little bit more involved than others. That being said, they are tied to some really cool abilities that players... Yeah, I want to see the later game ones. Like, the you could put runes behind such in-depth quests. You know, the the one that starts with the fallen hero in Badlands? Like, they're just showing meta then. You know, the fallen, the fallen hero that's in Swamp of Sorrows? The, 
That entire quest line is absolutely huge. The one where you need to uh, kill all the demons in the Badlands, then you go to Ashari, you talk to the demon hunter guy, and then you come back again. Imagine if they had a rune at the end of that quest. And it was meta as well. Actually, it wouldn't be meta because that it wouldn't fit in the level 25 bracket, but you know, hypothetically. Or imagine if uh, Stitches, for example, dropped a rune or something in, uh, in Duskwood. A Paladin rune, probably, because, you know, Horde can't have easy access to doing Stitches. Yeah, there's a lot of potential cool stuff to happen here. You know, find interesting new ways to play their class. So how do rune discoveries play into the class fantasies? Um, so if you can imagine yourself as perhaps a mage, right? Mages are able to manipulate fire, ice, uh, and even time in some cases. Uh, and so you can imagine those discoveries for mages sort of playing into those things. You may end up having to manipulate those things over the course of having to uh, discover and solve some of the riddles that will earn you some runes. Yeah, to yeah. add on to that, one of the things that we're really interested in with Season of Discovery is giving a little a exploration to, you know, how does, for example, a dwarf priest differ from a undead priest? And how would they channel the energies of the light and the shadow differently? And there's... It's safe to say that there's that's going to play into some of the discoveries and some of the things you're going to need to do to find some of the priest abilities. What are you most excited about? I'm personally very excited for players to really uh, immerse themselves in Azeroth uh, in, in a way that I, I feel like was easy and, and it was kind of the, the only way to experience WoW Classic when it initially launched because you didn't know what to expect. You were kind of uh, adventuring out into the world you couldn't just go and look up a guide on where to find everything or what to do and so yeah i mean it's, it's definitely true what she's saying about discovering the world but i feel like people just people are gonna find stuff out so fast these days right like there's gonna be an add-on by the end of the week that says if you want this rune go here do this do that you know what i mean it's uh it's gonna be found out pretty fast but i guess for the you know the time being discovering stuff it's not bad so I, I look forward to having players experience that again. I think for me, the thing I'm most excited about is new raid and dungeon content. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a big fan of in-game raiding, and we've got some really amazing stuff coming in Season of Discovery. You know, we talked about this at BlizzCon, that the first raid is Black Fathom Deeps, which is a, you know, it's an iconic leveling dungeon that we've converted into a new raid instance. Um, we've completely from the ground up rebuilt all seven bosses in the raid. So cool. um, yeah, it's, so cool. it's... Yeah, I'm excited to hear they've rebuilt all the bosses up to the ground up. Um, they didn't have to do that. They could have just put more numbers on the stuff in the in the dungeon, or I guess raid now, and it would have been a bit more challenging. But yeah, uh, they've decided to go above and beyond that. Wild growth. We're still at three point two. Uh, as per usual, the time in queue has been going down, but the estimated time has been going up. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm sure it will solve itself, right? So we're just doing a, a, a watching a few videos in the meantime. Armine Q. I was I swear I was one of the first people in the game and then I got kicked out of the game and now I'm here in the queue. So it is what it is. It's so much fun. Uh and we got a lot of great feedback from BlizzCon on this and we're super excited for people to actually see the whole raid in the wild. Are there any adjustments from BlizzCon that you can talk about? Yeah, we've been listening to a lot of feedback ever since BlizzCon. Uh, we've been reading social media. We've been playtesting still internally amongst ourselves. Uh, we've One of the fun things about Season of Discovery is we've gotten kind of a crack team I'm together in. internally on, on the Classic <laughs> team and the greater Team 2 World of Warcraft team together. And we've done a ton of raid playtests, ton of class playtests. And we've really been kind of, we've narrowed down this process to kind of process that feedback and act on it quickly. So we've already made a number of adjustments uh, since BlizzCon. And, uh, I think players will be uh, pleasantly surprised by a lot of those. I hope the so. best thing about BlizzCon for this is that we got a lot of great feedback on the raid. And you know, we kind of tuned the raid for fun at BlizzCon, right? Like it was, wasn't particularly punishing. We wanted people to really go in there and have fun, but we've maybe cranked it up a little bit oh. for, the, for the live release. And we think it's gonna be a really fun challenge. And we also think it's gonna be really rewarding. We've uh, tuned the rewards to be very powerful for this level band. And we think people are gonna have a lot of fun with those. Yeah. I um... Not going to lie, I still think it's going to be classic raiding, so it's not going to be very difficult, per se. Like, it, you're not going to be wiping for hours on this stuff, but there might be one or two mechanics per boss fight. Like, look at these orbs everywhere. You imagine you run into these orbs, maybe you get a damage buff, you need to kill the boss, maybe you take some damage, something like that. I don't think it's going to be really difficult, though. That's not 
what classic raiding is really about. But yeah, we'll see. This is the first raid they're doing. Uh, and they've they've already told us they're going to do Gnome Gun. I guess we'll see that in a moment, though. Players have been asking, what's the right way to level up in Season Discovery? I don't think there's a right way to level up in Season of Discovery. Um, you know, the leveling journey in Season of Discovery is going to be pretty similar to how it was in original World of Warcraft. You know, you can do quests, you can uh, fight monsters, you can also do dungeons. But the thing that we really do like about the season is that there's so much in the outside world that, you know, you might find it as a little bit uh, better use of your time to level in the outside world to be able to find those runes and be, be able to keep your eyes peeled for wherever they might. That's the rune I need. Wait, it's getting in the cave. That's what I was going to get before I got logged off. And he's already got his imp as well. Ah. Oh, it's, it's, it's going down. Yeah, someone in chat, chat, uh, chat, chat, chat said it actually. It was going down faster. That is going down a little bit faster. I guess some people have work tomorrow, <laughs> at least in Europe. Um, yeah, we'll get in soon, surely. Absolutely, surely. But yeah, on, on, on PvE servers, uh, RP or otherwise, there shouldn't be faction queues. We'll see, though. It'd be lurking, you know, over the next hill or in the next cave or crypt. And some of those runes will also uh, encourage players to team up and, uh, you know, solve puzzles together. Yeah. Uh, and so that there's the, there is going to be a lot of collaboration involved, I think, between players. What are some unique approaches that you guys are taking with Season of Discovery? Yeah, I think that's one of the most exciting things about Season of Discovery is it's a, it gives us a chance to really try something daring and new. And one of the things we're really trying to do is keep as many of the discoveries that you're going to find on your class kind of hidden in a secret. And to that end, we're not having a public beta or a PTR. We're basically going to, everyone's going to experience it all at once. To but we are going to allow you to data mine runes and then update them. Together, uh, it will be fresh for everyone. Uh, in those first few weeks, we're going to see a ton of information sharing and and secret finding communities pop up, and that's super exciting to us. Another way uh, in which we're kind of experimenting here is that, as you know, there is a zone-wide PvP event in Ashenvale, and we have uh, plans for other you know zone-wide PvP events in the future as well. And we want to make sure is that everyone's on an even playing field. One of the things we're doing is we, we will be actually trying to enforce some amount of faction balance on Season of Discovery yeah. servers. Oh, wow. Um, and we're leaving it all very configurable, so we're, we're going to kind of keep an eye on the situation and, and figure out what, what kind of balance feels appropriate. I want to move on to another player question that I've been seeing. Yeah. And that's... <laughs> Which at the moment is no one can log in. So uh, yeah, you can't have faction balance problems if nobody can log in, that's for sure. Uh, how will class tuning work? So we very purposely, uh, you know, we'll be keeping an eye on, on all the abilities, on the PvP situation, on, you know, the, the raid, and making sure that nothing is too absolutely bonkers. <laughs> um, but we have been prioritizing fun over perfect balance. Um, there is some aspect to things kind of feeling a little bit wild in a game that I think is very fun and important to have, uh, especially in Season of Discovery, where we're kind of going into this with this experiment experimentation mindset. Yeah, particularly with the kind of level banded approach too, um, trying to kind of chase perfect balance as we create as we move through the level bands, it's 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 probably not a great place for us to spend our time. We're definitely like Norris said, we're going to look for outliers and things like that. But really, we're focused on making each class feel very fun and lean into each class's class fantasy and each level band. Um, and then we'll you know obviously make adjustments as we go. We've seen a lot mm -hmm. of uh, players talking about. Um, basically trying to science through all the abilities and trying to like math out how they're gonna like succeed in the one to 25 leveling bracket and that's like really awesome but it's also like hey that's that's the first bracket yeah. you know things <laughs> may shift a little in, in the future brackets as you gain more abilities and you know and, and as the season progresses so what is the next level band after one to 25 uh, the level 25 to 40 level band. We're yeah, very it excited has to be about 40, yeah. You're going to be 40. able to get your 31 point this, talent. It's going to be exciting um, level 40, And you're 40, also going to be able to go into a new raid. And uh, we're happy to confirm that it is going to be Nomergon that you're going to go into at level 40. Can't wait for everybody in the party yeah. to get lost. Nomergon, <laughs> <Yeah>. raid. <laughs>
who can't wait for someone in the raid to say, let's jump right, let's jump down, and then someone else like, no, let's not jump down, and someone jumps down, everyone white. You already know it's going to happen, and it is going to be glorious. It is an alliance territory. How will Horde get there? Yeah, um, one of the things we're doing with all the raids in Season of Discovery. Yeah, this is a bit of a funny thing. It's like, Horde, they just go by a booty bay, right? There's a teleporter. And the pet that pulls everything, that, now that is the real experience. Is we're actually, uh, you know, we're keeping the quests intact. We're kind of re redoing them. In a lot of cases, we're upping the rewards for them. But one of the quests that the Horde has is to actually get a teleporter from Stranglethorn Vale to Nomergon. And so we're going to maintain that quest. And like you said, it is Alliance territory. So we're going to do a little something special for the Horde here so that maybe they're on an even playing field uh, going that deep into Alliance mm -hmm. zones. Speaking of PvP, as you're leveling through that, you know, 25 to 40 uh, leveling range, I think a very iconic zone uh, for players, especially those who uh, play on PvP realms, is Stranglethorn Vale. And so, I don't know, that might be a, a really good candidate for another zone-wide PvP event. Shadowmond. Uh, Shadow I see SM and I read Shadowmond. Scarlet Monastery should have been the 40 raid. I think it will be as well. Like they'll have both of them. In the in the forty bracket at least, and then for the fifty bracket, hmm, I don't know. Maybe they have Black Rock Mountain as the PVP zone. They have BRD. Like BRD has to be a raid. BRD is already in. It's big enough to be a raid. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be doing that. More than four servers. How am I doing? Eh, it's gone down a little bit. We'll carry on. So with the new level ban from twenty five to forty, what do players need to do? Um, so, I mean, the, the cap is just going to raise, so they'll be able to level to 40, and they'll level, you know, the same way they, they typically would maybe in WoW Classic, uh, with the exception of there being a lot more for them to kind of stumble upon in the world and uh, unlock some additional abilities in that band. With your characters, uh, what happens to them after Season Discovery? That's something that we've been uh, keeping in mind. We do want players to... Uh, be able to preserve their characters that they have, uh, you know, sort of embarked on this new season of Discovery <laughs> journey with. Uh, and so we don't have concrete plans to share as of right now, but we do want uh, to make sure players' characters are persisted in some way when the season ends. Yeah, we, we want... Yeah, this is, like the, this is like the big question. What happens to these characters? Imagine you play these characters with all these new abilities, like if it, we've got three rune slots at the moment. By the end of the season, we're going to have a bunch more. And, like, what do they do with them, you know? Because this is, at the end of the day, this is a seasonal server. And season means it has a start and it has an end. Uh, and that end is going to be quite brutal. Like, can you imagine a seasonal server character going to error? It'll be it'll, like feel going from Legion to BFA. I, I don't know how many of you guys did that, but uh, you just lose so much of your character's power overnight. And it will just feel terrible. So, fingers crossed, there'll be something bigger and better after the season of Discovery, if you know what I mean. I want players to go somewhere with these characters uh, that is a, a natural place for them to end up. You know, we're in a situation now where we're creating new items, we're doing all sorts of new different things. There might be new item sets, yeah. things like that. And would those work in era? Potentially not, but yeah. it's very possible for. Uh, seasonal characters to end up in some place that's not quite era, but some place really cool. So when you guys are playing on the build and testing it out, do you guys have any fun stories you can share? Yeah. Yeah, tons. <laughs> uh, one of the funniest things about Season of Discovery is w when we're playing play testing as a group it, internally together, we end up f in situations where someone's like, oh yeah, this thing is from uh, the original game, right? And we're like, no, that's actually new. And sort of the inverse of that is whenever the hardcore PTR actually came out that first day that it was up you know I had logged in and I had created a dwarf character and there's actually a quest in Cold Ridge Valley that asks you to get a rune in original World of Warcraft it's completely mm. unrelated to the rune system but I panicked because yeah, I forgot and I'm like getting on the phone with QA and trying to oh like, my gosh. like oh no it's in the build it's in the build it's not it wasn't it was totally just and so it goes both ways there's a lot of that kind of funny uh is this is this is this new? Is this old uh, effect that happens? And it's it's just every time it happens, it's, it's usually fun. There was also a really uh, early, really early on. There was a rogue rune that 
essentially allowed them to kind of like kick somebody and knock them back a little ways. Yeah. And there That's ended up being that. a bug. Maybe someone added an additional zero or something, but like there ended up being a bug where like the knockback was insane, such that you would just knock them into orbit, basically. <laughs> oh, and like we saw, gosh. you know, like someone demo it, and we're just like, ah, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> and you know, in, in the not. interest of making sure classic still feels like classic, the knockback in general was something that we kind of decided to 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 move away from. So you won't be able to knock people back as a rogue, but it's it was just a funny, you know, what if you could knock somebody off into the totally different zone? So before we wrap up, is there any other updates that you guys can share? Yeah, you know, since BlizzCon, we've been watching a ton of feedback. And oh, hey, Josh. Hey, Nora. Uh, oh. Hi, Bethany. Uh, um, you know, I, we're really strapped on time. And, you know, people really haven't been asking for anything like this. But I just made a new two-handed enhancement shaman rune. And I want to hear what you think about it. That's great, man. But we're kind of in the middle uh, of something right now. A meme oh, on two-hand uh, enhance. Sorry, guys. <laughs> They're doing oh, it so later. hard. <laughs> Um, yeah. Well, I it's, guess it, that it'll happen at level four. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> we'll I'm confident of that. Time. There we go. There it is. Two handed enhancement. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go with two hand enhance in the first place, you know. It just makes so much sense for how vanilla works. But uh, nope. We're going with dual wield first of all. And then we'll see how that goes. Blizzard making jokes? I know. This is crazy. And does Blizzard do this? So we're only down... We've like literally got through half the queue and the estimated... <laughs> Wait, how's the estimated time gone from like 50 minutes to 12? The two-handed rune... When the two-handed rune happens at level 40 for Shaman, I can play Shaman. Like, I, I already want to play Horde eventually this season. I think they look really fun. Wait, on uh, Countdown Classics Intel interview, Agren said 200 Shaman was stronger in their internal tests than Dual Wield. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Um, I guess neither of them have Wind Fury. So you don't know exactly how it's going to go. But that is uh, it's pretty good either way. Looks like a lot of people are waiting though. Everyone's still in queue? Like how many of you guys are playing? How many are in queue? <laughs> Jump from 18 minutes to 121. Nice. Mine did the opposite. So um I, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean we're gonna I look it's not gonna be it's not gonna be 12 minutes i can tell you that right now it's not gonna be 12 minutes but uh we'll, we'll try a bit more we'll see if we can get back in like i do want to push at least a few levels tonight now, if i'm honest that, like, the plan wasn't for me to do some crazy 24 hour stream or anything like i want to stream season of discovery for fun and find out the new stuff kind of in the most authentic way i can and you know if people in chat can have fun with that as well then that's going to be great but i'm not planning to like stream you know how it is with World of Warcraft like people go crazy streaming it and playing it for 16 hours a day and it is what it is but uh, I, I still want to put out a lot of videos on YouTube and keep up the quality I've um, have on the channel so uh, I just want to stream for a bit of fun um, just chill out you know have a chat with some people about the game uh, so uh, you know I just hope when you tune into the stream it's not going to be me staring at a login screen trying to come up with content you know what I mean? The minutes don't mean anything. They really don't. <laughs> like, it was 3,500 Q and 50 minutes when I last looked. And uh, now it's this. So, I mean, we'll, we'll try and get back in at least tonight and play a little bit more. But um, I think the popularity of Season of Discovery has either gone far above what Blizzard expected, or they have their they have their ideas of what the server cap should be, and they're going to stick to that. And players are just not evenly enough spread out, if you know what I mean, beyond the different servers. I feel as though 
it's kind of the former and they've underestimated it. And if they put probably one to two more uh, servers in each region, they'll be okay. But um, again, we, we don't know. We don't know. We're just waiting and seeing at this point. Yo, Peon Puncher, thank you for the five. Thank you. Uh, do you know which PvP server is NA West Coast? I am not sure. I'm not logged into the uh, NA Realms at the moment. Can anyone help? I believe they have the same names, right? Which PvP server, uh, NA servers West Coast? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stick it through. I'm gonna try and get back in tonight and do a bit more. This is uh. Are there any Aussies in the chat at the moment? I know you guys usually don't get a server, but your server release times when you get them are so nice. I would love to have a server release in the morning. That would be perfect for me. <laughs> but yeah, morning releases are great. For Americans, they're not bad either. But when you're in EU, it tends to be quite late. Though, to be fair, um, usually it's 11pm and now it's 9pm. Flame is central. Is central west coast? I'm, I'm not sure how well that, how that works. EU worldwide releases, we get stiff. Yeah, we do. But... The alternative is we release one day later. I mean, I could I could wait. <laughs> I could wait for that. Almost have been two to three AM for you. Wow, that's quite late. Yeah, it, it seems like uh It seems like whoever you are, there's a bit there's a bit of a queue. Why have they picked the same server names for each region? It's so weird. Like they've never done this before. And now for the season of uh, Discovery, they pick the same server names for each region. Do you know what I mean? It's just kind of strange. stupid yeah i guess i mean i assume there's some kind of region internally why they've done it but it just feels a bit strange the decoy names i mean they're out now they're, they're, they're alive so I, i'm assuming they're not who can say really A 400 minute wait time. Well, gonna be there for a while. Wait. This, oh, by the way, guys, so this is how myth, this is how little the estimated time means. Estimated time. Two minutes. Position in queue. 8,000. Hmm. Yeah, I uh, I think you're going to be waiting a little more than eight minutes there. Or uh, two minutes, even. Yeah. You're playing the RP server? Well, to be honest, I, I, I just kind of, I don't want to roll someone who's kind of streaming the content on a RP server. I, I'm just gonna say I, I wish a lot of the bigger streamers didn't roll on RP servers. I feel like they're trying to recapture what Grobulus has when in 2019 they all rolled on Felina on a on NA at least and. Um, it's just going to be different these days. It's not the same environment. And if all the big streamers go to the big servers or the same server, then it's going to create something different. Um, I mean, we'll see how it plays out eventually, of course. But it's uh, it's going to be different, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll be back in in absolutely no time. Your queue's moving now. Okay, that's good to hear. Man, I, I, I wish for this release, like, I, I could have been streaming the game. Like, I really want to get into the game and just find out the new stuff in it. And I'm here sitting in the queue trying to talk about it. I'm like, I'm sorry about this. It's kind of unfortunate, but... Yeah, it's Blizzard releases for games. Sometimes they underestimate it. Sometimes they overestimate it. Like, there's an argument one way or the other, you know? You can not release more servers and tell people to deal with it. You can release more servers and then they end up being dead in a few months' time. Yeah, ideally they would know. They started layering. If they, there should have been so many, so many layers before release. I really should have. Um, I know how many of you guys have played uh, RuneScape before, old school RuneScape. Any uh, RuneScape players? You know, give me a little uh, something in chat, but. If you could log between servers and pick what that server is based on what it's named for. Like imagine there's a server that's called Raid. Or imagine there's a server that's World PvP. And there's a server that's, I don't know, Enchants. And there's a server that's whatever else it may be. Like you can have a server for each type of thing. And when you want to do that thing, you go on that server and you can find that thing. And it, it just works so well in old school RuneScape, man. But uh, yeah, in World of Warcraft, this is how it's always been. And uh, hey, what do you know? Uh, nearly 20 years later, we're still getting that same experience. Yeah, I, th I think it's just been more popular than they've expected. Uh, like a lot more of that. Oh, Pion, thank you. Appreciate that. I've been in queue for an hour. 662 in line. I hope you are on soon. I'm a, I don't know how long I've been in queue for now. Uh, it's, I don't think it's an hour yet. If it is an hour, then, uh, you know, it is what it is. But we're counting down. It kind of feels like 2019 classic all over again. Get your remote desktops out. Prefer to log in from wherever you are in the world. Uh, you know, do whatever you can and uh, just stay online. I think logging in at level 25, we're kind of uh, we're kind of doing this to ourselves in a way, like. You already know it. With a level cap of 25, there's going to be people who are at that point in like 10 hours or something. So trying to like absolutely blast on launch probably isn't really the best of ideas. But at the same time, I do want to play the game. And if I want to play the game, uh, well, unfortunately, I have to be in queue. The Aussie servers are smooth? I wish. That's the, you finally get servers and they're the best ones. How about that? Layers happened. I actually checked uh, Nova World buffs while I was logged in to see if there were any layers and it wasn't showing any yet, but I didn't log it. I didn't mouse over anything, so I, I'm not sure. The one that hit 25 and 12 hours. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's, that, that is not very much. Yeah, it will be a bit longer than that, but the thing is, it, sorry, the thing is, it's not going to take too long. Oh, nice. My estimated time just went up to 87 minutes. Guys, there will be content in an hour and a half. Who is hyped for that? <laughs> yeah. Wild Growth is currently growing, uh, if you just wait for it. Uh, is Wild Growth NA and EU different? Yes. 
I don't know why they've picked the same server names, but they have. You just got in. Well, welcome to the loading screen. Uh, this is uh, this is pretty much the stream that's representative of the season of Discovery so far. Don't worry, we'll we'll be in soon. We'll be in real soon. Okay, promise, promise. I'm not seeing anything. Same server names because they're the same. But why are they the same? It doesn't make sense. They've never done this before. There's not a fire more EU and NA. There's not a white main EU and NA. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, we're just dis we're discovering something. The queue is long, very long, apparently. Yeah, some, I'm hoping when I get back in, there's... Oh, yo, guys, I'm going to be in the game in under a minute. Under a minute, guarantee. The, the screen says under a minute, okay? Under a minute, guys. Oh, it's going down, it's going down. Do you see that? It just went down. It just went down. Okay, okay. A, A. Layers, 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 layers. <laughs> you're in, you're in. Oh, okay, guys. They're layering the servers. Guys, I uh Yo, I need yo, I need to pee. I was planning for at least a few more minutes of content, but I need to pee so bad right now, okay? So if I, if anyone if I get in before now, okay, just tell me, alright? I'll be alright. Five hundred and thirty. Okay. I think we're going to be back in pretty soon. Alliance restricted on Lone Wolf. Two people saying that. Ooh. Wait, Alliance are restricted. I'm kind of surprised. I thought there would be more. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let me take that back. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> No, that makes total sense, actually. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking about it the other way around. Adam enjoying his uh, his bennies there from his uh, Furious Storm Range rune. Must be nice. It's always... 
yeah yeah i mean i would expect these servers to have more alliance players in general um but yeah we'll, we'll see how they go streamers play alliance more people in general in vanilla just tend to play alliance um yeah it, it's always been the case absolutely always you could even say this vanilla is the only version of world of warcraft where on average there are more alliance players than four players okay it's down to 500 i think they've added a bunch of layers because of paladin um yeah a, a large part of it is down to paladin there are several reasons why more people tended to go alliance uh, so obviously there was a uh, blessing of kings which scaled up really well uh might and kings are just on average more that a better and just be easier to apply than a uh, strength of earth and grace of earth uh they also get salvation which you can't easily get on horde uh they get fear ward which is just generally nice and yeah they, they just scale up quite well oh and also when you come to uh, actual pvp and, and ranking in vanilla which a lot of the more hardcore players do care about when you play alliance typically there are less pvpers than on horde so you can queue up instantly whereas on horde you're sitting in a 20 or 30 minute queue which is just it just feels terrible right even if um, honor gains are proportional and ranking is proportional, you just don't want to be sitting in a queue. It's boring. As I'm currently experiencing. But Alliance players don't have to do that so much. They can get into game after game after game and, they, you know, they just bang out experience and honor. Yeah, there's, there's a number of reasons. For sure. Board needs salve. Yeah, I mean, people say they have, um, what you call it, uh, tranquil, tranquiler, but it's, it's just nowhere near as good as salve is. Like, one paladin can salve an infinite number of people. Tranquiler is 20% threat reduction for five people. We'll see, though. You know, it's a seasonal server. Things will be different. Hello, Steve. Um, Alliance Gnome? Warlock. As usual. You already know. You've been watching me long enough. You already know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really do want to try out um, especially Shaman on the Horde. I think I think they look great. I'm just overall really enthusiastic about pretty much every single class identity that's been put in the game. And we are nearly through the queue. Okay. I'll try Sean. Absolutely, Steve. Absolutely. Like, come on. I want to press a lava burst in classic. Lava burst just feels so good to press. Four minutes. Four minutes. Holy crap. Zero Lenny. We've got a celebrity in here. Hey, yo. Thanks for dropping by, man. I, uh,. Your, your, your videos are so good, like, for real. Dark Souls... Was it Dark Souls 3 or 2 of the IGN guide recently? Holy crap, that was good. I watched the full thing. Thanks for dropping it. You watch my... Stuff? I'm sub... I'm subscribed! Man, uh, hey, hey, this guy, this guy. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah, your stuff's good, man. Uh, I appreciate it. It's good. Okay, we're, we're pretty much in the game. Okay, we're in the game. We're in the game, boys. All right. The, the stalling, the 
whatever you call it is over. We're in the game, and I've immediately ma Maiden Lust has lost me my mob. Uh, let's just get you in the group. Wait, I, I can't even invite a guy called Maidenless. You discovered it through me? Hey, my man. That's awesome. Uh, I, I hope you enjoy yourself. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's only a moderately crippling addiction. You'll be fine. Yeah, that's the, that's awesome though. I, I, I'm really glad you, you you popped in. That's awesome. What are you playing, Lanny? Give me the uh, give me the details. Don't say horde, or you're banned. Do add-ons work? Um, I've got details up here. You need to know how much damage I'm dealing, right? It's, it's turned some of my options off, man. Hmm. Okay, this is a lot more chill now. This is a lot more chill. I can I can deal with this. Hello, JS. I remember you. Level three. Level three. There we go. Only uh, fifty-seven to go, guys. I'm officially eight. Tenth of the way there. Make that a twentieth. Maths is hard. <laughs> You're a human good boy. Always wanted to be the Lich King. Uh, managed to be him, managed to see him last night. Hey, yo, man. I hope you get the kill soon. It's a great fight, even on normal. Uh, don't any, let anyone tell you otherwise. It's not a walk in the park. Uh, enjoy that. Yeah, for sure. Man, I'm struggling against these boars. They're strong. Go on, one more. One more. I need those? Yeah, I do. Oh. So is everyone else back online now? Is the queuing over? Because if the queue issues were about an hour long, I'm going to call this a really successful launch, by the way. So bad. Hmm. The Firestone build? Imagine. Imagine if they buff Warlock's uh, spell on Firestones. There's still Qs. Okay. There's still a few Qs then. Login servers are full. Oh. oh, it's so much nicer. Right, how many uh, layers are there though? I can't tell. I'm sure there are layers. This add on here, uh, Nova World Buffs, I, I should be able to mouse over and it shows me how many layers there are. I, I can't see that right now though. Found any runes? No, but uh, I do have a quest for my first rune. Um, I'm not sure it's, it's I'm not sure it's showing questy. No, it, it's not showing questy right now. The, the database doesn't have it because it's season of discovery, I guess. Um, but it's uh, apparently it's in a chest in this troll stronghold over here. So I'm going to go and discover that rather soon. And he killed a rare spawn. Hey, yo. I mean, rare spawns are, um, you know, as the, the name suggests, pretty rare. So I wouldn't expect to be seeing too many of those. If your runes are from a rare spawn, that's going to be hard to get. Okay, so that's the Trogstone. I need a lot more boars now. 
let's try and get these balls and uh i guess a lot more people are logging in i assume a lot of people have gone to bed now as well or just you know fed. yeah we'll do something else few times are still bad yeah i think they're um i think they're trying to spin up more layers not more servers so i think it will kind of resolve itself i hope at least Ooh, a ball. hello david yep i uh the, i mean in the past the live streams have been kind of a rarity for me but season of discovery has kind of changed that because there's I just feel like there's so much more to do in the game. Like before now, I've kind of, I've played the game and I've known everything there is to know about the game in advance. Maybe not everything, you know, best PvP ever. <laughs> A decent amount of the game. Um, but yeah, this season really does change things. Let me ask this though, is there anyone who's here who has watched one of my live streams before today? Because my last live stream, uh, and I went to look, was uh, during the Burning Crusade beta, which was in May of 2021. So yeah, it, it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I I would be surprised uh, if anyone if anyone was still there. You think I did, Sean? You think you did? I'm liking this respawn. Like the rest of you, you expect to be in queue? Oh, no, no. You see, when you turn the stream on, you get priority, you know? Yeah, I mean, I really don't stream very often, so I'm, I'm not surprised to hear that. But, um, yeah, I mean, thanks for all tuning in today. It's... Really, this season is something that's completely new. This is part of the reason why I'm, I'm playing it is because we just don't know what will happen. Uh, we we don't know what there is to discover, what the new runes are, how things are going to play out, and uh, it's just really exciting. And this makes me want to stream the game more than anything that's happened before, more than any expansion release or new piece of content. Yeah, I think there are still quite a few uh, streams with or streams realms which are restricted or have issues. Only four more crag balls, and then we're gonna find our first rune, which will be horn. Which, if I had to pick a rune for warlock, I would have picked horn. Because uh, Haunt is... Uh, the thing about Haunt is not only it deals damage, but it heals you as well. And the heal is a big deal. Two more? The Shaman's first rune is Overload. Ooh, I want to play a Shaman now. Such a first, That's such a good first rune. Yo. Overload? When do you get Lightning Bolt? Level 2 or 4? You get Lightning Bolt at level 1, don't you? That's your first spell. You have Auto and Lightning Bolt. Yo, I want to play a Shaman now. Okay, this I'm going to play this season way too much. Yeah, you get it at level 1. Yo, a a anyone who knows, what what's the first rune for your class? Just put it in chat. Druid's Free Wrath, that's great. I feel like Blizzard has a good uh, good handle on these things, you know. Penance for Priests. Yo, Penance is so good. Rogue, Rogue is Shadow Strike. Wait, can you Shadow Strike without uh, a dagger? Can you Shadow Strike with any weapon? Oh, if you can Shadow Strike with any weapon, that's so good. She gets Stealth at level 4. And it's like a 25, 25 yard, I think. Camera shot for hunters. 
Oh, I love this season. I love this season so much already. <laughs> this is so good. Melee weapon. Wow. What is it? 150% damage. Seems a discovery. Why don't you get 25 raids tonight in Classic? Yeah, I mean, I, I do still play Wrath, by the way, and I'm going to play Kana, but um, I think for these streams, I, I just have more to do in Season of Discovery. What's for Warrior? I heard Warrior is uh, Victory Rush. And assuming it is Victory Rush, Victory Rush is the best rune you could get at level 2. Lock rune yet? No, no, no. no I'll get the lock rune soon. You going for that? No, no. no, I'll take that one. Thank you very much. Uh, what haven't we heard about yet? What, uh, we heard Druid... We have Rogue, we have Priest. Uh, Mages get Ice Lance. What else is there? Charmin, Hunter, Parry, Warrior. Yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, I think we've heard everything. We'll, we'll be getting our first rune real soon. Real soon. I think there's a chest in this dungeon that I need to loot. Uh, I'm just going to go in here and check this out right now. Level cap 25? Yes, the level cap is 25. Uh, spec will I be leveling? Um, yeah, I, ha I haven't really thought about it, if I'm honest. I assume affliction. Um, so I'm getting haunt straight away. Oh, level four? Level four? Uh, wait, what did he drop? Raid robe. Ugh. Which looted a green idol that wants me to kill six enemies with Moonfire. Yo, that's so cool. What'd you get as a reward? Wandering Swordsman. Oh my god. I, I, I can't wait till I find some of this stuff. Uh, just get me out of the starter zone, man. Get me finding new things. Uh, so what am I doing here? I just need to kill... I need to kill three of the Acolytes. Doesn't say you need a level four. Okay. Okay. I see. that. And there's the boss. That'll be the guy that's annoying to kill. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a uh, parkour. Ooh. This isn't hardcore. Uh, no, there are no hardcore realms for Season of Discovery at the moment. Come on, I can't get up there. Fine. Whatever. I don't need to get up there. I'll just kill this guy instead. Curious about professions? Yeah, so you should be able to level professions up to Expert, which is 200? You can't do... I know you can't do Artisan, because Artisan you need three... You need level 35, which obviously we can't get yet. Um, and also for Artisan, you need to go to like Evermoon Stronghold or Alderman or all these other places to train the final rank. Two, two, yeah, 225. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Have you got zero like? I, I, my brother, I do not know. I'm on Wild Growth EU. Uh, and I am thankful for that. I'm not going to steal that. He's evading, I think. I don't know why I'm trying to parkour up here. I could just walk around. Ugh. Okay, one, one more try. One more try. One more try. There's no way I can't make that, man. But yeah, maybe they'll, maybe they'll do hardcore servers for this eventually. I guess they haven't initially because... Uh, if I was... Blizzard, I wouldn't do hardcore servers for this. Um, the point of these discovery realms are to discover and experiment, not to play safe and not die. Do you know what I mean? 
So yeah, initially just take it slow, find stuff out, do what you can. And then maybe down the line, they uh, enact that. Why is there three together? Do I pull all three here? Uh, okay. <laughs> what was that? How did all three not pull? We say the strike feels so good. I bet it does, man. I want to find Horn. I, I need to look out for a chest in here. And uh, I need to find the Acolytes as well. Is the chest up here? No, it's not up here. Is it down there? No, I can't see. Oh, novice. Hello. I'm going to try Warlock Tank. Initially, I want to play Warlock as a damage dealer or a, a DPS, but... I'm kind of down, you know? If people want to have me in their group, I'm down. I'll do what I can. Chest is in the back. Uh, like down here? I'll find it. Okay, five more. Ice oh, is feeling really good now. Class skills always have been vanilla. Yeah, so when you level up, you'll gain plus five skills into uh, your talents. It's just some weird visual quirk. It doesn't really do anything functionally, but yeah, that, that's always been a thing. Any race advantage on Season of Discovery? Exactly the same as normal. The same races that were good in vanilla are, season, are good in Season of Discovery, and they have not changed anything in that regard. So if you want to be an undead or an orc and be great in pvp you can do that if you want to roll a human because you want the sword skill or the mace skill at level 60 you can do that uh, they haven't changed anything you click seasonal oh classic carrot seasonal seasonal I'm not dead am i do i have any food there you go Yeah, maybe they will do a uh, hardcore one day on this. I, you know, when hardcore servers came out, I was kind of considering doing it, but um, I, I don't know why I didn't. Hardcore really speaks to how I enjoy playing the game. Like, I really like the leveling, um, which apparently a lot of people do, seeing as how popular hardcore has been. But I just never quite committed to it. But then with Season of Discovery coming out, I was like, you know what? This is it. I'm going to stream this. I'm going to have some fun with it. I'm going to chat with people. And uh, we're going to see what's up. Turn around right side. Oh, I feel like you've given me directions so late. And I'm going to lose them now. And you're going to be like, he's going the wrong way, man. He's going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the chest. I was looking over the balcony for a chest, man. Right side of the ledge. There was a chest. Down and right. Okay, I got I got you. I got you. I will go. I will go. I'm just gonna try and not die first of all. Which might be bad now. I pulled two of these guys. Um doing a little bit of a uh, kiting. I think I'm okay here. Four, don't crit me. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Ah! And you will not see that on a hardcore stream, by the way. <laughs> Woo! Just don't get crit. It really is that easy. Okay, so down and right is what I heard. Demon skin, oh my god, actually right, you're right. Down and... Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, I can't click it! Huh? Why can't I click it? 
Retrieve the rune from a group of trogs. These aren't trogs, they're trolls. Yeah, but I can't click it though. I, I, I don't think my mouse is showing, but I can't click it. It says trogs. These aren't trogs, they're trolls. Rock jaw. Yeah, this is this isn't the place. This isn't the place. Wrong cave. It is the wrong cave. Yeah. Right. I need uh I need two frostmane novice. So two of the casters, and I can get my imp and uh, be gone here. The camp in the beginning. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and check that out afterwards. We'll just get two of these novice. Because uh, we're going to need to come back here anyway for the uh, boss guy here. I think we're just going to try and camp a novice here. I think mages have the same quest or something of the likes. Hello, crack. You knew the chest. You did see the chest, to be fair. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of characters can loot their uh, whatever it is from there. Come on, novice. Hello, Danky. I feel like I'd be better off going up there for these guys. They're not respawning too fast. There's a truck. Oh, they share spawns, man. Well, we're going to try going around here. I think they share spawns. So sharing spawns is two mobs when they respawn can respawn as different things, basically. Found any runes? I, I probably should have, but I haven't. Uh, so I suck at this whole discovery thing, by the way. Troll whelp. Troll whelp. I need novice. No novice up there. Troll whelp. We're just going to kill this guy and hope they... Uh... Yeah. yeah, these novice are quite rare. Um, but I do need them to get, uh, get an imp anyway. So it is worth doing this while we're here. Kill the whelp. Yeah, I guess force respawn. Oh. He's respawned as the wrong one though, hasn't he? Let him get it. Look at this. Man sold his clothes. What is wrong with you? Oh, there's one. Only one though. Discovery is a prick. We are discovering. I think they're random spawns, you know. Because uh, I've killed... I should have got that one. I should have got that one. Um, but they're, yeah, they, they do seem to be spawning as one or the other. 5k cues already. Yeah, I've heard a, lo a lot of bad cues. Don't need clothes for discovery. Hey, maybe you're discovering something else. Oh, he's got horns already, man. Cheating. Only two more novice, though. Two more novice. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle now getting these last two. Lord Warlock, if I was a Warlock... Wait, everyone's got this uh, Haunt rune already. Should I go and f try and find the Haunt rune, or should I stay here? What do you reckon? I feel like I should get this Haunt rune, because I've lost mob tags twice to it already.
Oh well. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go get the rune. The season is about discovering, and we are gonna discover. So, rune. There's a camp of those rock your vermin to the southwest. Southwest, so probably around here. Camo shot level camo shot level two is so good. So Oh my god. Look at how many people there are. I'm actually behind. Like, seriously. It's all good though, guys, because the level cap is 25. There is no rush. So. Rock your vermin to the southwest. Let's rock your trog. Over here? Oh, there's a frost main troll. Rock your... Any, uh, any Noahs? Oh, over here perhaps? Chest in the camp. I can see rock jaw to the southwest, but they don't really have a camp. Back. Okay, I'm going back. I'm on my way. <laughs> They're all doing that other quest there. Am I, am, I, am I blind or? There's nothing here. I mean, there's these aren't rock jaw. These are these aren't trogs. They're trolls. Yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure, to be honest, where it is. Go back to the starter place. What can I do for you? Ooh, okay. What's on your mind? See you soon. No. Be good. Right, we'll, we'll go back over. By the starting point. Oh, what? Well, well, I've. Oh, is it like here? This is a bit of a camp. <laughs> and. It's just that easy. You, you loot the chest, you get the rune. There we go. Wow. How did I miss that so bad? <laughs> well, there's our first rune, rune of haunting. Teaches you the engraving ability. Let's go get that. What are the two worst starting zones? Worst starting zones. I don't know, I, I kind of like them all. What's on your mind? Turn that back in real quick, so I was timed. And eh? Oh yeah, I, I didn't do that one yet. Here. Yeah. Worst is dread. I mean, if we're talking for the server launch, they're all gonna be pretty bad. I really do like the night of starting zone a lot. 
um, because of the music, the ambience, the environment, it's it just is very up my alley. I enjoy it a lot. It's not the best, like gameplay wise. What can I do for you? Keep your feet on the ground. Wait, where do I hand this in? How are you? Safe travel. You saw my junk real quick. I have the finest wires in the land. There we go. See you soon. Huh? Oh, wait, 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 you... <laughs> it's, it's a learning process, guys, okay? Huh? Wait, do I have to turn off some add-on? Oh. Wait, there we go. There we go. Okay, there's our first rune. So, unleash a ghostly soul on the enemy, dealing damage, increasing all damage over time effects. So we apply it to our gloves. And... There's Horn. And it heals for all damage dealt. Wow. That is so good. And it's only 14 mana. Wait, what? That's better Shadow Bolt that heals you for 14 mana. Dude, that's crazy. That is so good. Right, let's finish off these quests here. Yeah, I, I probably should have uh, picked that up a little bit sooner. You're meant to do that. So what is this then, by the way? Wolf Jawbone. Because that, that was not in vanilla. Unless I'm like com completely misremembering, this was not in vanilla. So someone tell me I'm wrong. Someone tell me this was in vanilla and they remember what it's for. Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't. But I don't know, maybe this is a super rare drop that no one's seen before. Or so good. It's new? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's new, right? No idea what that is. That's the, ex that's the exciting bit. Right, let's finish up this real quick. So these three items are outside. Stolen journal. Ah, oh, that's the um, guy in here. And then we need two more novice. Uh, this is only getting worse in here. So we wrap up, wrap up these quests and we're kind of done with this starting zone. Has anyone else playing... Uh, elf? Anyone else playing this starter zone? Got one of these yet? Ooh! There's the taunt tab. Ah, oh, let's do that. Anyone else got a wolf jawbone yet in their playthrough? Is this like giga rare and I got lucky? Oh, level 5 by the way. Region use for stunning ritual. Okay. One more novice. You got one as a warlock? Okay. That's alright then. I mean, it is common. Only 20 more, imagine. Hopefully get one more novice in this corner here. Warn it. Blizzard, spawn it now. This does so much damage, though. These are Noel and the Wolf Drop. I can see that. They're like, okay, get this, this item from this starting zone, this item from this starting zone, combine them all together. But, like, summoning for what? Because we already have Voidwalker, we have uh, Succubus by level 20. But that's it. Like, what are we summoning? We know everything there is to summon. It's a fun server? It is a fun server. Yeah, I guess you're not wrong. A Felguard? Imagine a Felguard in Classic. You can't request invite to group, really. Ever tried Ascension? No, I, I, I haven't. No, this is, this is all very new to me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, let me just get this final novice here, and then I can get the uh, named quest and be out. Nice. That does so much damage. It's an instant cast, and it heals me. 
Oh, holy crap, this is good. Go up into 1.15. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna hand I'm gonna hang on to this then, right? I'm gonna hang on to this. Um one, two, three. Alright. How many people got that then? Ah, uh, so there's him, there's him, invite you. Invite, 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 invite. Hey, the classic experience, boys. Next one is Wendingo Blood. Oh, okay. Sometimes I wish, I wish they just made these shared spawn, because, like, me just spamming invite on five people, that or four people that I'm never going to talk to is, is it the best game design? Probably not, but, you know, it is what it is. Did we get it? Nope. Next one. Next one, for sure. Yo, Jeremy. I uh, haven't played in decades. You just, uh, just just install? Yeah, yeah. You just install and uh, go to WoW Classic on the Battle.net launcher and then Seasonal and you'll be able to find this. And yes, Tremac, Seasonal is out. And I'm playing on uh, Wild Growth EU. We'll get the next one right here. I should make a macro for this stuff, really, but I'm just spamming tab and my uh, horn keybind. And we missed it again. And I I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to make some. Uh, I'm gonna have to call my group a little bit here. What have we got here? We've got a mage. We've got a mage, a warrior, and a warlock. Okay, my entire group sucks at mob tagging. Why did I invite these people? <laughs> We're literally all so bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my mage don't a fire blast, warriors auto attacking, and there's another warlock. Yeah, okay. Man, I invite the first four people and I'm regretting it. We'll get, we'll get the next one though, right boys? How are we so bad? Wait, Mages can get Ice Lance. Do these guys not have Ice Lance? They don't. You know, add on menu in the menu. No, you should do. You, you can get add-ons. Hey, thank you, General. So the class guide, yeah, I, I, I wonder how they'll turn out. So I did the, uh, I obviously I did the class things and how I think things will turn out, but we never really know until they go live. So we'll, we'll see. There's no shot we've missed it. Wait, we did get it. Huh? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, we are onwards. Yeah. So with uh, auto. Yeah, it's just, um, in, yeah, usually I would tank by melling or auto or something, but we got the haunt now, which is instant cast. And it's pretty, uh, pretty quick. Like that. Usually never hand in that quest. Yeah, it, I mean, it might not be worth it, but hey. Um, oh, I need to hand this. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I am not doing that quest. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of that real quick. There's like a million people sat there. Great. 
great on Nietzsche. And then that. Be good. Anyone know what the waylaid supply boxes give you? I've not heard of them. Could be something new, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I am not sure. Let's go hand in these, though. We should be pretty close to six, and then we can go over to uh, Karanos over here. And we've got one rune, and we need to find out what the wolf jawbone does. So I have no idea. How do you add ons to work? I'm. I don't really have any special thing to tell you. I, I'm not. I'm really not sure. I just did what I'd usually do, and they worked. Um, yeah, I, I can't be much help. Morning, Alan. If it's morning for you, not quite for me. Mm, interesting. Right. There we go. And oh, we got some uh, XP from the stolen uh, power quest as well. And they're actually engraved to a piece of armor as well. So if I if I unequip those gauntlets, I lose the rune. And if I put a different one on, I regain it again. Interesting. So if you're PvPing, when you drop combat, you could swap armor sets and you swap rune. I wonder if that puts the runes on cooldown. So if the runes are just off of cooldown when you swap them, that could be OP. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, right, let's train corruption and... You have a great day now. Right. And corruption. Which runes am I the most keen on? For Warlock, I guess my main, I would like to find Shadow Vault Volley. You got a bag? My man. You're luckier than me. Sometimes I'll play the character and I've got two or three bags before I'm level six. And it's like it's a blessed plate it's a blessed playthrough. Feel that. Feel that. I'm like agonizing over these items. Have to use a rune nine. No, you can use runes multiple times. Um you just kinda Yeah. So it's like, it's kind of like an enchant. It shows you an interface. Do you want to replace it? Or if it's a completely new rune, you just go and use it and then that's that. Yeah, it's, uh, Shadowbot Volley really is. Uh, it's funny, like, I spent the whole of Classic, or Vanilla, I should say, playing a spec that pressed literally one button, and then I get the opportunity to play a completely different spec that presses. More than one button, and I go back to pressing one button again. Don't get dazed. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, Shadow, Shadow Bolt Volley with Nightfall. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, when you get Shadow Bolt Volley... And you get two points in Nightfall and you have a 4% chance to proc down Corruption Tick. And you have Corruption running on like four targets or five targets. And that's 20% uh, chance to proc an instant Shadow Bolt with Shadow Bolt Volley. Yo, that is going to be some damage. Horn to level five. I mean, you can get Horn to level two in this season. And it is pretty powerful. Yeah, I think we're just going over here right now. Hey, so some... Someone's level 10. Take note. Let's say, uh... Yep, someone's managed to get level 10 already, and here I am at level 5. Usually level 10 takes you about 2 hours, if you're being quite fast. Maybe a bit less. Uh, 
And I've only played a mere uh, uh, Yeah, okay, it doesn't tell me how long I've played. You should hit 10 on. To be honest, if you're level 10 already, you're doing really well. You're doing really well. That's classic plus so far. I have one extra ability, and I have to say, it's pretty good. Pretty good. What's everyone to level at, though? You, you level 5 like me? Are you doing better? Did you beat the queue? Gibby when you got Crusade Strike, I bet. I bet. What server I am on? Wild Growth EU. What can I do for you? What can I get for it? Too early to know which realm is best? Yeah, you're right. It is. It really is. Well met. I think at the, mo the time being, just roll the realm which seems good for you. Hi. And, uh, get that. Yeah, I think Warlock is going to be such what a strong leveler with, um... Stick your feet on the ground. What can uh, I get for you today? Uh, be good. Well, be interesting yeah. Warlock trainer. You're an innkeeper. Huh? Liz? Why is the innkeeper trying to teach me Warlock training? See you soon. Um... Stick your feet on the ground. Let's reload. <laughs> that seems broken. What's on your mind? There we go. See you soon. <laughs> yeah, the innkeeper's uh he's had different ideas. Uh wait, where is the warlock guy in here? I thought he was upstairs. Huh? The season of discovering new bugs, yeah, apparently. I thought he was up here. Wait, uh uh Dwarf Warlock. Yo, for real in Cataclysm, I'm, I'm down with hauling a, a Dwarf Warlock. Outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, he's outside by the cauldrons, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Over here. Now, I'm just so used to Warlock people being underground somewhere, you know? Need assistance? Um. Oh, I have no money. You have a great day. Is there anything new here? I wonder. I guess not, right? It's, it's all going to be kind of the same stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would assume so. Off and away. You died telling me that? Well, your sacrifice is appreciated. At least it's not hardcore, huh? Here they are. Let's pick these quests up. Man, I haven't done this starting zone in a minute. There's an efficient way to do this zone and I don't remember it. <laughs> By the looks of it, you need bears and boars though. Hardcore looks silly. I'd be downstream hardcore. How are you? But um What's on your mind? Yeah, maybe I will. You know? Maybe I will. Do I take a profession now? Talk to me. I haven't really thought about professions whatsoever. How are ya? Like at all. Hmm. Do I take mining here and go engineering, or...? The engineering guys around here are the mining one. Yeah, he's what engineering. Tailoring, then drop it after you have bags. Yeah. Mining? I feel like you can't go wrong with mining. And after, I'm not going to take jewel gathering, I think. I need a mining pick, though. 
Because I'm mining tech. You, you do. Thank you. And we need to enable... Find the minerals. Right, let's go. How do you play Season of Discovery? You just need a uh, subscription and download the game, log in through the uh, World of Warcraft Classic servers and it should show you as seasonal. And you can log in from there and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Go on from that point. <laughs> Thanks. Imagine. Wait. Wait. Can you see this on my screen? Let me just check real quick. You can't. How do I move it across? Okay, I, I, I can't figure out. There's, there's some level 5 may trust the name stacks on our server. Actually, I could have moved my cam, but, uh... Oh, Thexy! Is that you, Andrew? Are you the guy? <laughs> oh, wait, you can see it already. I'm dumb. There it is. Level 4 Priest, one shot mark. Yeah, Penance is going to be so good at a low level. Like, so good. The fact that it hits three times is crazy good. Uh, so we have that. Now we want to do the... We've got Wendigo or Boar Meat. We'll try the Wendigo. Oh boy. Looking pretty busy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Get that haunt off. Very nice. How's you? Yeah, Gibb Rage. After, after the initial login, I was sitting in queue for... Man, probably a good hour. But uh, after I've been in queue, uh, I'm, it's good now. No lag. Um, it's pretty busy. But... Yeah, no complaints, really. Our server's shared. No, but they they do share the same names for some reason, which I've, uh, I've mentioned it once or twice tonight. It's quite strange. Usually, servers don't share the same names, but uh, for this occasion, they, they do. There you go. Hold on. I should get my impact, shouldn't I? RP PvP is the streamer server. Yeah, I guess for the big boys, it would appear to be so. I'll take that, thank you. Is this new? Yeah, treasure trails. This is uh this has been in the game since forever. But maybe there's something new at the back of the cave. Forty-five crit, man. This haunt ability is crazy. I need life tap as soon as possible, so I'm not making the most of the heal of uh, from it at the moment. Heals so much. I heal so. Like even in Wrath, this ability heals a lot. Does, that, does anyone know if um haunt can crit? If anyone else is playing the warlock, has anyone seen haunt crit yet? What's my crit? No, I don't have the add-on installed, so I can't see how much crit I have. So many new items. 
Yeah, I got one new item too. I got, I got this. I don't know what it's for yet. It can crit. Amazing. Amazing. So it should heal as much as it crits, right? Bottom left map piece in the new undead zone. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds new. Yeah, I, I don't think there was a map piece before. It can. Alright, that's, uh, that's pretty damn good then. Plus one for me. Alliance or Horde, better for Warlock. Uh, I think that depends. If you're going PvP, I think Horde is just uh, a better by a, a big margin. Because the um, thing is, if you're playing Alliance, uh, you have this a little racial called Will of the Forsaken. And a lot of people, a lot of Horde players like playing Undead. Uh, but if you don't care that much about PvP, Alliance is fine. But if you really care about PvP, I would suggest going Horde. They're not doing bad here with the tanks. This Haunt ability is really good. <laughs> this is like the... Uh, uh, usually with Warlocks, you struggle on tags so bad. Or oh, less ch stun chance. Yeah, that's good too. Absolutely. They're both very good picks. Um, I love this. I love this Haunt ability so much. <laughs> this is so good. What to do with Waylaid Supplies? I have no idea. I've never got any of those. Also, Philip, hi. Uh, I think it's the same XP rates. Oh, level six. Level six. We're a tenth of the way there, right? That's how uh, that's how leveling works out. It's one for one uh, in terms of vanilla leveling. But the level cap is 25. So you're going to get there super fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even using my dots here. I, I don't know if it's worth between haunts. And Shadow Bolt, you just kill stuff so fast. Got the third Warlock rune already. Hey, yo. You're doing good. I'm surprised they've made Haunt instant cast. Um, in Wrath, it's not instant cast. In Kata, I'm not actually sure whether it's instant cast. I haven't looked at that yet. Haunt, Demonic Tactics, Demonic Grace. Yeah, they're, they're okay. I think Haunt's the most exciting out of those three. Wendigo blood. Ah, oh, yeah, someone mentioned that before. So I've got my Wendigo blood, I've got my wolf jawbone, and I assume there's another item, right? Whoa. Resist? So you mean it's Sarakef? Oh, the uh, scorpion, right? In um, Valley of Trials. Yeah, that is that is the Horde starting zone experience, huh? Personified. You can make more, turn them into capital C. Okay. Bit of extra gold then. Gold does not go amiss in this game. For sure. One more, one more. I'm not doing bad here uh, in terms of quests. It, it's like really busy, but um, there's enough stuff spawning where it's not bad. And then we need to kill a lot of boars by the looks of it, a lot of boars. World First 25? Well, I can tell you one thing about the World First 25. It won't be me. Hello, Missy. When did this go live? This server went live. Uh, two hours and 30 minutes ago. Uh, 
this is this is as far as classic goes this is pretty fresh is that horn it is horn <laughs> it is horn in vanilla yes you're right and uh, it's instant cast ready level 25 well you're just better at the game that's all there is to say Uh, so we only need one more here, see if we can get this now. Instant, yeah. No, it, it's a powerful version, for sure. One more. What I do need is a wand as well, though. And last one? Really? Am I still actually on seven? I am actually on seven. Okay, one more. Add on for the mid screen thing. That is called Doom Cooldown Pulse. Right here. I'll sort it out. There's no way I haven't got this drop like six times in a row now. <laughs> it's actually the classic experience. Six times in a row. Okay, this one. This one I'll get it though, right? And hold. Thank you. Okay. Right. Let's go. Getting back to get back into our almost 13 years. With a gnome rogue, are they still good? Yeah, I think rogues look decent. This uh this season, I suppose. Give it a go. The thing is, right, we're only leveling up to 25 at the moment, so we don't know how things are going to look in the long term. So even if you pick something and you don't level it too much, or, you know, it's not really for you, it's not going to be a huge time investment, comparatively. So I just find something you like, you think it looks cool, play it, see what you think. You know, if it's not for you, you can move on. If you enjoy it, hey, you know, stick with it. Excited to get back into it. I hope you enjoy. Monarch race on global that is a shame i remember talking about that in a video and i was like i kind of hope it's not on global so you're getting the re-spell cast out of it then yeah yeah it feels bad on global who's that dwarf fighting a yeti no way who was it tell me i need to know uh, so we're killing boars and burrs as we say in the uk should be a few up here, right? Invincible on your druid. Druid must be pretty nice with a free wrath cast. Looks pretty busy over here, though. Well, ooh. Wait, mining. Need to do some mining. Ah, oh, 
of course in vanilla you need to mine <laughs> multiple times. Oh man, didn't forget about this. Uh, are there any bears around here? Or bulls? What's corruption tick for this on? Ticks for 12, that's not bad. This, this feels so powerful with having Hauntless Instant cast and heals you. Like, really powerful. Three dots up straight away. Into Shadow Bolt. And then heal back to full. Yeah. I, I think I can train uh, Drain Life at six as well. So this is super strong. Yeah, I feel like Affliction is going to be the go-to leveling spec, for Warlocks at least. Ah, okay, there's a few layers, huh. I don't think there's 10 layers, I think that's kind of lying. I, yeah, I, I really don't think there's that many. There's got to be a few though, for sure. many boars around here? I think there are level 7 or 8 ones over here. Maybe I go try that. Yeah, this haunt rune just feels so strong. So strong. This hardcore? Uh, no, the, the um, seasonal servers are not hardcore. There might be one day, but not at the moment. Yeah, I, I want to go train life tap. It feels like I'm, I'm wasting life points on uh, these haunts at the moment. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, maybe there will be one day. You never know. Never know what Blizzard are planning to do. But I think for the seasonal service they want people to try new stuff out and see what they can do figure it out themselves a bit wonder why retail remove life tap i remember playing a warlock in a i raided in bfa and was it legion no it was a legion i think they removed life tap in bfa and i found it super annoying because every single other caster did not have the life tap apart from warlock they're like the only this one's new huh they're the only people that didn't have a life tap but wait 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 this guy's new i see the soul of one who's wanted and the soul who's one's instant This guy wasn't here before. He definitely wasn't here before. Gaclic Void Twist. Soul Broker. The soul of an innocent. And the soul of the wanted. Huh. Anyone seen any of those yet? Might involve Drained Soul. Ooh. That's a good idea. Yeah, th this guy definitely wasn't here before. I play this game far too much. <laughs> I know he wasn't there before. All right, life tap. We'll train that. And shadow bolt. Yes, please. Um, that, that's it. Yeah. Seeing you. One who is innocent. Wanted. 
Hmm. Are there any quests in Dumoro where you have to go and kill one guy specifically? I, I don't know if there is. I guess that's what the season's all about. Yeah, I'm really not sure. Is that there? Yellow and red. I think it might be a bit simpler than that. Innocent? Hmm. I don't know. Was it easy to discover the haunt rune? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I I probably made it more difficult than it needed to be. You just go loot a chest, which is nearby the starter zone. If your gear breaks, no runes. Oh, for real. I guess that makes sense. What did I just get crit for? Did I just get crit or did I eat something? Nope, I just got charged for 35 non-crit damage. Yep, that is, the, that is a classic experience for you right there. Casually charged for a quarter of my health. Second rune for Paladin is Inspiration Exemplar. Underwhelming? Yeah, that's, um... Not great in PvE, if I'm honest. If you're solo leveling, that's kind of extremely average. Like, you don't really care about that whatsoever. Plus, don't use Holland. You see on my action bar here, where it says R. If I take that off, nothing. So yeah, you, you do need your gloves on. Yeah, the runes you use are directly tied to uh, whatever gear you're using. Uh, so we need a few more. Don't need that, but I'll take the XP. Okay, he took the kill. Warrior get blood frenzy off dueling a rare spawn. I love that. That's so flavorful. A human starter zone and wild growth pack. There's just five camping every spawn. Yeah, it was like that for the gnome place as well. I mean, I, I guess you can see this. It's still pretty busy. It's still pretty busy. Um, but, you know, we're, we're getting through it. Yeah, I think for boars, I'm going to go around here a little bit more. Around here. Uh, there should be some more. Night of Zones chill. Yeah, it um there tends to be a few less players in it. At the end of the day, human is very popular, gnome and dwarf share a starter zone, and then you have Night Elf. Why the rabbit name show? I probably just have critters showing on a critters showing on interface for name bars. Missed it. Next one. Grinding cobalt signs. If you go out of your way, just try and grind something that nobody else is grinding. And it uh, won't be as bad. This instant cast horn. I was going to say how good it is and then it resists. What I'm going to do for gold in the season? Uh, <laughs> I play a warlock. So, uh, you know, I hit level 40 and I walk up to my, uh, my trainer and I say, hey, uh, give me the mount, and they give me the mount for free. 
So I don't really have to worry about gold that much. Uh, privilege class, by the way. But later in the game, I guess what I've always done, I've always, um, like at level 60, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the place in Southern Winter Spring, we get Eye of Shadow, Dark Whisper Gorge. I found that. Or Diamond East Jump Runs. Those have always been my go to. 90 silver? I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll hand over your 90 silver for my mount. Okay, so we need one more four rib and we need to kill some bears. A lot of empty slots, yeah. They'll fill up. Warlocks have so many abilities in the UI. Uh, don't worry about that. You just farm ro mobs. If you're in the starting area and it's super busy, I think farming mobs will be better. It just depends whether you can find mobs to farm. Um, but quests really aren't great for experience at a super early level. Uh, so if you can, just go and farm mobs. I would suggest you just go and farm mobs. <clears throat> But again, that depends on your server, that depends what's free, it depends what starting zone you're in, but yeah, uh, just give it a go if you can. Um, we need a few bears now. Uh, there should be... There's one there. Someone's got that one. We'll try up here. Try up here. Should be a few. Shift and them. I've never really liked the map on screen. Like, I know what you mean, this thing here. But uh, I just don't like it. It also overlaps with... I don't even know I have a DPS meter. Like, <laughs> I'm level 6 by myself, but I still have a DPS meter. Because I need to know. Starts talents at 10 or uh, talents at 10 or 1. Talents um, will be at 10. Runes will be at as early as level 2, not 1. Yeah, things I, I need to know. Like, come on. If, if you don't know how much damage you're dealing in World of Warcraft, are you really playing World of Warcraft? There's a bear. Ugh. Well, no one's taking it. Well, I actually got that. Any rune check, Rain? Yeah, I've got one rune, the rune for Haunt. Which I found in a chest in the starter zone. That is the only one I found thus far. And it is a glove rune. And it's an instant cast haunt. Deals damage to some enemy. When they die, it heals me. Uh, it's really good. What mods in terms of add ons? The relevant ones, like the ones that are actually doing something right now, are. Uh. Classic Aura Durations is showing the actual cooldown on this. That's kind of it. I have a lot of add-ons and not, not many of them are really doing anything. Uh, so yeah. That's a Questy. Oh yeah, Questy. Yeah, Questy's a pretty good one. I, I forgot about that. I just take it so for, so for granted. Power levels com uh, increase compared to vanilla. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Uh, my character is so much more powerful already with one rune than it was in vanilla. Absolutely, characters are more powerful. And they said they're going to buff the mobs to make them do more damage, but I don't really feel like I'm taking more damage yet. What's Questy? Uh, so, Questy's 
pretty much an add-on to show you where quests are on the map. If you don't have an add-on, the your map will be blank. You will not have an idea where any quest mobs are. With Questy, they show you where, for example, things that drop the item you're after are on the map. So it is extremely useful. Um, and if I, honestly, if I was to say get one add-on for Classic, it would be Questy. For sure. Let's get one more bear here. And that is, uh, yeah, Questy. This one here. Yeah, I, I would, I would absolutely get that. I can't believe I forgot it. It's, I, you just take it so for granted when you've had it for so long that you don't think about it. But yeah, it's very important. Unplayable without you. You're absolutely right. I agree. That haunt room go, man. And it does so much damage too. First of all, it's classic two retail for you. Oh, you're out there reading the quest. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, on one hand, I like the questing in Classic a lot. I like the slower pace of it and running around the world and stuff. On the other hand, I'm not really out here reading every single quest. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm uh, at some point, I'm, you know, kind of happy to just follow along and chill kind of thing. Yeah, I have to read quests for you. Yeah, I've used that in the past too on Hardcore. The, um, I forget what it's called, the add-on that has the AI voices. I thought that was great, but I kind of heard them a few times in a row and then I had kind of heard them, you know what I mean? What server? This is Wild Growth EU. There's the last burpa. Don't play Wild for the story. I mean, quests aren't always super story heavy. They're like, hey, adventurer, go, um, uh, yeah, uh, go over there and kill some boars. Uh, uh, I'll give you some gold. And that's kind of the extent of the story. You, you kind of, a lot of it's making your own story, uh, which I think is kind of cool. Great to meet you. Watch your back. What can uh, I get so I need to you? buy. Uh, Keep your feet on the ground. Real Vanilla was unforgiving. I remember. I remember playing it. I remember reading the abilities. And my internet was so bad that I could not open web pages to Thoughtbot stuff. And if I got stuck on a quest, I would just not do it, move on to the next quest, and go grind mobs or something. And that's how it was. Like, full on boomer mode. <laughs> that's what WoW was back in the day. And uh, I played that. And I'm still here. And you know what? I'm happy to be here. Uh, so I want to pick this up. Yeah, yeah, I want to pick this up. Wow, well, Alakazam, yeah. I mean, I was... Like, back in the day, I've no doubt that, no doubt that I wasn't good. Um, but it was fun at the same time. Are liking it so far? Yeah, it's, uh, I've only got one rune at the moment, which is Haunt. But it feels pretty impactful and quite powerful. Uh, so it is it's kind of familiar, but it's uh, a little bit different at the same time. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it so what far. Can I do for you? Yes, the next quest roll over here. Haunt feels OP. Yeah, Haunt is definitely very strong. For sure. Five K queue, yeah, that must be a bad queue. I don't know what server you're on. I guess on the PvP ones. The original Grand Sixty, I, I remember doing it. Yeah, my first sixty back in the day was a hunter, and it was I. I really don't remember much of it. I remember. I wish I actually paid more attention to, actually you know caring about how long it took what went into it and so on and so forth but i just i just played the game i just played the game one day i hit, I hit 60 and i just carry on from there
I think we're just gonna go over here. Going to bed. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't planning to be on for super late tonight. I know I'm like level 7 and stuff, but uh, I, I kind of want the streams to be uh, something that I do now and again. Sipping on a little bit, Jinzo. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just want the streams to be something that I do now and again, really. Um, I'm planning on streaming uh, Season of Discovery quite a lot. Um, obviously, compared to some of these other guys who are doing 24-hour streams, they're going crazy with it. They're going to be level 25 by tomorrow and stuff. That's just not really what I'm looking to do, to be honest. Because um, at the end of the day, I do want to keep the videos up on the channel and the quality I've um, hopefully kept up on the channel. Hopefully that's shown. Because um, I have put a lot of work into the channel over the past, especially month or so. It's been crazy with the amount of uh, information that has been to cover on the season. Um, but yeah, this is I guess this is the first stream. Uh, I haven't streamed anything in a little bit over two years since the Burning Crusade Classic came out. And this is truthfully one of the first times I feel as though I can fire up a stream and really have things to do, right? Things which I don't know, things to be excited about and just hopefully share that with other people who want to tune in and watch that. Um, and so that's really why I've decided to come back to streaming and to try this again for the season of Discovery. Uh, even with expansions, I really didn't, you know, get this feeling, if, if you know what I mean, so... Uh, it, def it might be a different vibe from where streams a bit more laid back or something, but I think that's what what someone who's streaming puts on kind of reflects themselves a little bit. So I hope that does rub off. Um, but yeah, uh, either way, guys, this is the first stream for Season of Discovery. Uh, I'm going to be streaming the majority of the content I put on for Season of Discovery. Uh, obviously, if I log on it here or there for an hour or two myself and I'm taking a break, I've might not fire up the stream for that because I want to commit something a little bit more. Um, but it, it's been good though. There was quite a bit of a queue, uh, unfortunately. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> you can't really do anything about it. It shouldn't happen again though. I think they got over that hurdle pretty fast. Um, streaming on YouTube? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to do on a... At the moment, you can do YouTube and Twitch at the same time, so I'm I am planning to do that and to continue on doing that. Where I'm on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, and you can you can really just tune in on the platform you prefer, um, however you want to do that. That's no problem. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the first stream, I guess, for Season of Discovery. It's not, it's not the most progress ever, but at the end of the day, the level cap is. 25 and there's going to be so much to discover to find out to sort of you know enjoy with throughout the duration of the season so um yeah and i plan to stream it when i'm playing for any good duration of time to throw it on and yeah chat with you sh uh, guys again um but yeah I, I guess that's about it uh i hope you guys enjoyed the stream today uh if it's the first stream you've watched you know say Say hi or, you know, remember to subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I should be on the uh, the coming days or beyond that and we'll carry on out from there. And we'll just continue with the character, find what there is new in the season, talk about all the new updates, all of that good stuff and carry on from there, I guess. But guys uh thank you all so much for watching today uh I, I imagine i'll be back on tomorrow enjoy your night i hope you're not long in the queues uh have a great time and uh i'll catch you when i do okay all right take care everyone